Hello and welcome to the Delta Career Day. Uh, this year we're holding the Career Day for the fifth time and uh, we have over 50 companies here present today and you can, fo you can follow uh, presentations from the companies either on Worksop or here at the University of Tartu Sports Building. Tere tulemas Delta Karjääri päevale. Täna on meil ettekandeid kuulda üle 30 ettevõtted. Koha peal Delta Karjääri päeval on ligikaudu 50 ettevõtted. Saate kuulda ettekandeid nii Worksopis kui ka saate jälgida neid siin samas Tartu Ülikooli spordihoones. For the welcoming words, I will welcome Jaak Willow, who is the head of the Institute of Computer Science. Tere kõikidele, on mida asja kuulda. Delta karjääripäev on muutunud juba traditsiooniks, me oleme siin juba kolmadat, neljandat aastat. Alustasime arvutiteaduse instituudi karjääripäevaga ja siin uutest tingimustes siin majas. Aga ma vahetan inglise keele peale, sest meil on väga palju välistudengeid ja ettevõtteid, rahvusvalise ettevõtteid, kes tegelikult kõik on tänase karjääripäeva osad. So I will switch to English now. I um, wanted to say that we have been running this Delta Career Day already before the Delta building next to here was ready. So um, starting from Institute of Computer Science Career Day, when we moved together in here, we have arranged it as Delta Career Day. So what's the goal of this? It's uh, for students and companies to do matchmaking uh, for students to look at uh, what type of companies, what type of jobs are available on the market, uh, what types of uh, professional practice placements are possible, uh, what type of benefits companies could offer to student unions or, or students during their studies. So if you don't want to get engaged immediately in the company uh, as a full-time staff member, then convince companies to join the industrial master's programs or other types of programs that help students to complete the studies and companies eventually also to get a good workforce. Um, the work opportunities are plenty and it's a market where um, the companies are really headhunting. So does university. So maybe university itself is not so present in here, but uh, I just wanted to also tell that Universities are also looking for students to help in the teaching assignments, in the research project assignments as research assistants. Uh, our PhD program has been evolving, so we are now recruiting annually about 30 PhD students, uh, mostly paid from different projects that our institute staff is, is running. Uh, and, and and uh, these kind of things would allow to combine the, the internal urge to learn new things and to do new things also within the university. So among the career paths, uh, there are plenty in the different companies, in different roles, for different specialties. Uh, there are plenty at the university. And uh, this is the moment where young students, the first year students, have to uh, kind of uh, understand what kind of uh, studies should be performed in order to get into the master's level where companies, when they take you, can very quickly turn you from junior positions to senior positions. So this is our university's goal to enable studies that give you the education, skills, and confidence. And it's the role of the companies to accept uh, students who have been trained fully into, the, into such roles. And for me personally, it has been always a, a, a struggle how to settle uh, the balance between companies just desperately looking for the first person stepping to their corner and says that, hey, I know how to write Java in four letters, spell it correct. 
This is not sufficient education that the university provides. Uh, I'm strongly behind this, that, that the main job starts after you have obtained the master's degree. And uh, of course, as university, we also are so much dependent on, on PhD educated uh, people who have learned to create novel technologies, who have learned to do something totally new. But uh, in here, uh, we have all kinds of companies with their technical roles, with administrative roles, with their business, uh, mathematics, computer science, IT people. And uh, this is one of the biggest career days uh, in Estonia. Uh, Delta is uh, probably the largest um, single building with, uh, with such educational programs. And this is the festival that we should all enjoy over the... Of course, we were struggling a lot whether we should have this physical meeting. Uh, actually, we are kind of hybrid at the moment, but being present physically is very important, I, I believe, for all the students, companies, everybody involved after all these uh, terrible corona isolations and amidst the current situation as well. So please uh, walk around, visit every single company, talk to these people, uh, back and forth. It's going to be an intensive day for students, for you, as well as to companies. So let's make the best out of this uh, opportunity and enjoy the festival. Thank you. And now for the second opening words, uh, it's an honor to introduce Mary Skarik, who's the head of the Institute of Mathematics and Statistics. Thank you. Uh, I'll start in Estonian and then uh, switch to English. Tere kõigile, et ja väga suur aitäh, et te siin olete. Ja alustaks tervitusest siis kõigile firmadele, ettevõtetele, kes on siia kohale tulnud, et Väga hea on näha teid siin ja teie huvi hariduse, teie huvi üliõpilaste vastu ja ma saan aru, et me jagame samu väärtusi, sellepärast, et see ülikooli haridus on meie jaoks oluline, on teie jaoks oluline ja ma loodan, et see päev tuleb teile tegus ja asjalik. Terega kõigile üliõpilastele ja teistele külalistele, nii siin koha peal kui ka Worksopi keskkonnas, et teile mul on hästi lühidalt ainult üks mõte on edasi on see, et olge aktiivsed, käige ringi, küsige küsimusi ja küsige ka keerulisi küsimusi, sest see on teie võimalus praegu saada või panna kokku see, mis te olete õppinud ülikoolis, saada aru, kuidas see on seotud sellega, mis siin praktikas toimuma saab ja kes teab, see on tegelikult teie võimalus, võibolla see on teie esimene küsimus teie tulevusele tööandele, nii et kindlasti kasutage kogu seda päeva võimalikult ära. Nii et soovin kogu Matemaatika Statistika Instituudi poolt teile kõigile tegusat ja põnevat päeva. So, welcome everyone. And uh, my, my first welcome goes to the, all the companies here. So I'm very happy, first of all, that you're here. And I'm uh, very happy because, uh, first of all, you provide an uh, interesting program for, for all the students, but also because we share the same values. So you're here means that you actually value the education we give to our students. And, uh, and this is uh, like, an obvious uh, starting point for, for any, any future cooperation between, between uh, university and companies, between students and companies. So uh, I, I hope you uh, have a, an interesting uh, and uh, fruitful day and, and, and enjoy this. And uh, welcome to all the students, both here and, and also in, in, in workshop uh, environment. Uh, I have just one very simple suggestion to you. Be active, look around, ask questions, ask all kinds of questions. This is your opportunity to ask relevant questions from the companies. You'll see how the theory you get from university, how it connects to the practice, and you'll never know. You will actually may find yourself asking questions from your, from your future employer. So 
make, uh, make the most of, of the day. And on behalf of the Institute of Mathematics and Statistics, I, I wish everyone uh, an active, uh, nice, interesting, exciting uh, career day. Thank you. Thank you, Melis. And now, last but not least, the opening words from Kertu Lats, who's the Vice Head of Academic Affairs at the School of Economics and Business Administration. Please. Thank you. Um, I welcome uh, all our students and guests who are really uh, on site this year uh, at the Delta Cariari Festival. I hope that uh, this Cariari Festival is uh, something that would uh, change the world because our students are meant to be persons who are able to change the world. Dear partners, um, organizations and companies who uh, are here, thank you uh, for uh, showing up and giving us the opportunity to uh, meet you and speak you, with you. And uh, we encourage our students to, to take this opportunity. Dear students, um, be active. As my previous uh, colleagues said, ask questions. And uh, the slogan for our School of Economics and Business Administration is uh, meet up, speak up, and of course, start up. So uh, enjoy the festival, and uh, I really hope that maybe you will meet your future internship or future entrepreneur or employer here on this site. Ma ütlen ka kaks sõna eesti keeles. <laughs> et uh, tere kõigile külalistele ja tudengitele. Sellel aastal Delta Karjääri Festival toimub päriselt uh, meie spordihoones. Nii et uh, kõik on siia tere tulnud. Uh, suur tänu uh, külalistele, uh, organisatsioonide ettevõtete esindajatele, kes on tulnud siia kohale ja... ja natukene pakuvad infot selle kohta, et millega nad tegelevad ja lubavad enda tagadubadesse piiluda. Hea tudeng, tule täna kindlasti karjääri festivalile. Võibolla on see midagi sellist, mis võib muuta maailma ja loodetavasti ka sinu karjääri sinu unistuste suunal. Aitäh! Thank you, Kertu. And now we will start with the presentations from the companies. First up is Cybernetica. Hello, everybody. Uh, do you know that it's always nicer if you sit in the front seats, right? There are some nice chairs here. So you can stand, you can walk around the whole day from box to box, but you can sit down for a moment right now. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm the head of R&D at Cybernetica. And we are very honored to uh, have been invited here uh, to the Delta Career Day. We always want to be present here and we thank the university for the opportunity and greetings go out to both the departments of mathematics and statistics and the department of computer science. Um, Cybernetica is a company that you might actually have a relation to. Uh, if you ever use something called Smart ID to log in wherever, then the awesome cryptography behind Smart ID comes from some of our papers and patents. So uh, we are very good at cryptography, building the new kind of security solutions that the remote working or internationally working world requires. Uh, the second interesting aspect is that if you look at the photo on that one slide I have, only one slide, then you see from that window from my office, that's Delta building. We actually have an office next door to Delta. Isn't that nice? Uh, it also might be that you may have taken a security course from some of our people or management course maybe, but um, we're good at both. So security slightly better, but uh, we're good at leadership as well. And uh, whenever you, you probably declare taxes, you're probably at the age that you have to declare taxes. So the Tax and Customs Board has been a customer for 
slightly less than 20 years, maybe. Yeah. And uh, the login systems for the Tax and Customs Board are the fact that you can so reliably log in there that it doesn't crash even when oh, half Estonia wants to declare taxes on the same day. That's also our fault uh, in a good way. Uh, we also want to make security usable. We have totally seen how passwords are on the way out in some regard and connecting systems to new ways of authenticating yourself is important. So if you're interested in how to make security actually usable, then uh, we are the ones to talk to about that as well. And uh, you obviously think that blockchain is cool. Well, we know which blockchain is actually reasonable and which one is just a huge waste of our environmental resources. So if you're interested in that, then we can also help you understand where does blockchain make actual sense. And uh, we are great believers in open source, using it, sometimes producing it. And um, yeah, there is a lot more to talk about. So we do have a stand in, the, in this event. Find us ask questions, and we'll answer happily. Thank you so much. And our next speaker is uh, from the University of Tartu. Uh, it's an honor to introduce the Center of High Performance Computing. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Oit. I work for the University of Tartu Center of High Performance Computing. And uh, what we do is we offer computing power. Uh, we're the largest cluster currently in the Baltics. And the first question becomes, why do you actually need any kind of high performance computing power? Uh, this arises from the need of uh, bigger machines, basically. So your average researcher cannot afford large servers with one terabyte of memory or 128 cores. And once your models get big enough or you need to sift through hundreds of terabytes of data, it is not feasible to do it outside of any kind of data center environment. And for this reason, we have gathered over the years quite a plethora of machines for our main computing cluster and for our cloud setups. With around 12,000 uh, real physical CPU cores and 60 terabytes of RAM, uh, around 50 or 70 GPUs currently available in different sizes with up to 80 gigabytes of VRAM, and most importantly, storage space, since uh, many projects like the genomics project require around 300 to 700 terabytes of uh, usable space at any given time. We have currently over 10 petabytes of uh, hot storage that is fast, available, and uh, usable for direct computation. And some quick tidbits. Uh, last year, our cluster was used for around 201 years total. So we are looking at roughly 60, no, 1.2 million jobs in total. The different physicists, genomic people, machine learning uh, jobs. These will all run uh, last year on our cluster. And we get these kinds of numbers every year. And it all gets better with Lumi if you need extra large computations at DICE is a partner of Lumi in uh, Finland. And Lumi is meant when you need jobs with thousands of CPU cores or even tens of thousands. So Estonia has a 2% share of Lumi and uh, is quite available for use. The pilot projects have already started and uh, full public access should come in quarter three of this year. And of course, we are hiring, since we are always love more people. We are in dire need of new developers, both front-end, Python, anything, basically. There's also a PHP developer spot, if anybody is really interested. And for my personal bread, uh, I'm going to need another system administration, which is basically a whole department in a single man. Uh, you can support both uh, physical infrastructure, networking, disks, 
customers, and you get to play with the largest toy in the Baltics. And we cannot forget the most important members of our department, which is the cats and dogs, or the eye performance companions. Only four of them are being currently noted on the slides, but uh, I know of at least two more. And most of them will welcome you quite happily in our department. So, thank you. Thank you. And next up is KPMG. So please, the stage is yours. My name is Katja and I am KPMG. I am the KPMG personal department. And if anyone has not heard of where we are doing and where we are going to see, then we will be able to see you in your own way. Aga liigume siis, et kas sinu edukas tulevik KPMG see on võimalik, siis jah, see on ja kohe ma ka räägin, miks. Natukene räägin ka KPMG-st kõigepealt, et KPMG on siis liikmesfirmade võrgustik loodi 87. aastal. Eestis tegutseme me 92. aastast ja saime veebruaris 30. aastaseks. Ning mis on võibolla oluline on see, et Me siis tegelikult osutame auditi maksu õigus ja ärinõustamist. Lisaks ärinõustamisele pakume ka raamatupidamist teenuseid. Ja tegelikult üle maailma on meil 200 pluss tuhat töötajat, 200 pluss tuhat KPM keelast, et see näitab ka meie sellist suurt globaalsust. Lisaks Eestis on meil siis kontorid peale Tallinna ka Tartus, et Tartus on väike teenuskeskus üksus ja seal töötab meil ligi 30 töötajat. Keda me siis ootame oma ridadesse kandideerima? Ootame abnitsioonikaid, noori inimesi, tudengeid, kes siis otsivad midagi enamat ja tahavad õppida majandusest ja teada rohkem. Kui sa oled ambitsioonika äärilise mõtlemisega, siis tule ka APMG-sse, see on kindlasti sinu koht. Meie juures saad õppida parimatelt, teha lennukat karjääri, kui siin hoidab töö siis auditi maksunduse või õigusnõustamise kõik. Vallas, siis KPMG on õige koht. Sinu arengu võimalused KPMGs meie juures teed karjääri rahvusvahelises ettevõttes ja laiemat pilti majanduses toimuvas saad ka endale samuti. Meie ka arenad finantsmaailma tipspetsialistiks ja kasvatad oma intellektuaalsed kapitali. Siin on mõndade meie inimeste sellised sitaadid, et nemad on välja toonud, miks neile meeldib töötada KPMG's. Ingrid on meie maksunõusta ja Ingrid on öelnud, et KPMG's on võimalik teha karjääri, seda kiiresti. See annab võimaluse iga päev ennast proovile panna. Samuti meie maksunõusta eneliis. Eneliis hindab KPMG juures seda, et iga inimene on oma ala spetsialist. Ja kui ta veel ei ole, siis ta õpetatakse selleks. Ja Keir on meie auditor osakonna auditor ja ta ütleb, et auditiga liitumine on annud tale ideaalse võimaluse tõsta jalgfinantsmaailma ukse vahele. Lisaks on KPMG õpetanud väga head organisatsioonikultuuri. Ja loomulikult, mis on KPMG töötamise juures suurim põlu? Meie inimesed ja meil on palju tarkust koos ühes majas. Ise peame seda oma suurimaks väärtuseks, sest meil on oma ala eksperdid, nii maksueksperdid, õigusalased eksperdid, auditorid ja nii edasi. Kui on tekib maja sisesed küsimus, siis on kiire lahendus olemas juba maja seest võtta. Ja miks KPMG? Peame lugu väga oma töötajatest, et meie suurim väärtus on meie inimesed. Meil on palju ühistegevusi. Soovitame vaadata ka Facebookis meie aastakaala videot, kus on siis näha, millises mastaabis meie üritused on. KPMG eest tõelselt hoolime üksteisest ning pöörame väga suurt tähelepanuga vaimsetele väärtustele, softskili koolitustele, erialastele koolitustele ja nii edasi. Ja natukene, kui me juba arengust ka räägime, siis tegelikult selline huvitav fakkas ja juurde, et aastal 2021 panustas KPMG oma töötajatele kuni... Keskmiselt 86 koolitustundi ja tegelikult vist KPMG on parim koht, kus tundma õppid ärimaailma ja lõpetan siis sellega, et keda me otsime. 
Hetkel otsime noorem auditoreid, IT-auditoreid, otsime eeske konsultante jätkusuutlikuse teemadel. Samuti otsime tehingunõustamise konsultanti ja finantsala sai töötajad üle üldiselt nii raamatu pidamisse kui ka auditisse. Ja... Nii, ja KPMG on kõik võimalik. Liituge meiega. Aitäh teile. For the next presentation, let me introduce Telegax. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm from Tele2 Estonia. Uh, this year, we'll be looking for more rebels with the cause. Uh, so we have two different kinds of programs. A summer trainee program, well, where you'll be joining us for three months, so June, July, August. Uh, and we also have the leadership trainee program, which is for a whole year, and you get to start your career right, right from the top, so next to a leadership uh, member. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, we'll be looking for 10 different summer trainees uh, for 10 different roles. So, for example, e-commerce, uh, marketing, uh, UX designer, and so on. And actually, all of our leadership team members will be looking for a trainee. So, also, uh, all different kinds of fields where you can join in. Uh, as for tele uh, we have like a startup culture. So when you come to join us, you get to do real work and actual pro projects from basically day one. And what you will get in return, uh, you will be taken as a basically full employee, uh, even if you're a trainee. So you will get all of our benefit uh, packages. So for example, all of our services for free, uh, sports compensation and so on. The list is quite long. Uh, you will get to spend one of your internship day in another company. So you will get to see different company from the inside as well. Plus we have the Clifford Strengths Finder test where you can find out your strengths during the summer, uh, which, will help, which will help you uh, through, through your career. career. So. Uh, the video is in, in, is, in is, is in Estonian, because actually when you join us, unfortunately, you need to have Estonian language skills as well, because most of our work is in Estonian. That's why. But I think we can replay the videos to show what you will get in return if you come and join Tele2. If you have any questions or want to find out more about uh, who we'll be looking for, what we do, and so on, our Station is right behind the wall, so come and join us and ask more questions. Thank you. Hello, uh, now we will take a short break uh, and we will return at 11.40. Uh, during that time, take, take this time uh, to look at all the boxes uh, and, and of the enterprises here on site. In, in addition to this hall, we also have another hall which is located a uh, little, little bit further back the, uh, the hallway. So don't forget to look at the both rooms and see you in 10 minutes.
Hello and welcome back. Uh, we will continue with the presentations now and our next presenter will be joining us online and it will be Microsoft's Development Center, Estonia. So, hi everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Merili and I'm part of uh, Microsoft Global Talent Acquisition Engineering Team. And I'm here today to give you a quick overview about Microsoft Development Center in Estonia. Uh, so let's start with our roots. Uh, our roots come from Skype, uh, which was created in 2003. And uh, 2011, uh, Skype was acquired by Microsoft. Uh, so uh, Microsoft has been in Estonia for 11 years now. Uh, what we are doing now, uh, now officially called Microsoft uh, Development Center in Estonia, most of our workforce in Tallinn and Tartu is developing intelligent cloud infrastructure uh, for Microsoft products. So the main products are Microsoft Teams, Azure services, enterprise clouds, but also a bit of Skype. And who we are today, uh, we uh, have 400 employees and we are hiring pretty actively. Last year we, were, we hired around 134 new employees. And we are also really international. We have uh, 34 different nationalities uh, from all over the world and 25% of our employees are female. Uh, 95% uh, of our employees are part of uh, the Experiences and Devices organization. It's a huge organization uh, with more than 10,000 people. And in Estonia, we are focusing more products uh, such as Teams, as I mentioned before, but also Edge, Office, uh, OneDrive, Outlook, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, we'll tell you a little bit about our future as well. Well, definitely we want to keep uh, continue to expand our portfolio and add teams uh, for new cool uh, tech areas. Uh, definitely would we would like to hire more uh, talented people uh, in Tallinn, uh, but also in Tartu. It's true that most of our most of our employees are working from Tallinn, but also about 25 people are, are based in Tartu. And uh, another really important thing is our culture. So definitely we will keep going, uh, creating our culture and hiring people uh, with the same mindset and goals. How to find us? Uh, so uh, we are on Instagram, also on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, on Instagram, you can read more about our people. Uh, on Facebook, you can find information about like um, our events, updates uh, and so on. And on YouTube, you can actually find videos uh, like also what will help you to, to proceed, you know, the the interviews as well. So I highly recommend to visit our YouTube channel as well. About uh, internship opportunities, uh, we have plenty of them and, and different ones. So there are internship uh, for program management uh, and also for software engineering. Uh, the interviews are going already and this year, but there might be more options. So I highly recommend to go uh, if you're interested in, in internship uh, and apply. And there is a special uh, link for that. So I highly recommend to go visit aka.microsoft slash Estonian jobs. You can find a lot of like different information from there about Estonia, about the full-time employee opportunities, but also about internship and after graduate uh, roles. So this is the link you should visit uh, to find out more uh, about the job opportunities. So that's it from my side. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you, Microsoft. And uh, for everyone who have joined us recently, welcome to the Delta Career Day. We will be having presentations from companies during the whole day. 
And we will also, uh, we also have on site two rooms full of companies. So take a look around and don't be afraid to sit here in front of the stage as well, as we have many open seats here as well. And now uh, it's an honor to, uh, to introduce our next presenter. So uh, go to and play, the stage is yours. Hi, <laughs> hello world. Uh, my name is Marianne. I work at Go To and Play. Um, basically, this is us, uh, and a lot of people are missing from this picture. Uh, we are about thirty person, thirty people in our team, and the team consists of web developers and designers. So. Um, we are a web development agency uh, working really close with another agency, design agency NOPE, and together actually we can solve any kind of uh, web development uh, projects uh, that any business might have. So um, uh, our main goal is to help businesses to be better um, uh, in their digital world. So we, uh, we solve um, and um, provide uh, websites, home pages, any kind of uh, uh, web um, applications that they might need. Um, and yeah, uh, we are basically, um, we are based in Tartu, but we have a small presence in Tallinn as well. What do we offer? Uh, summer internship. Uh, um, the internship lasts for about eight weeks, and during the internship, actually, you can do whatever you feel you want to learn in the web development area. We are looking for web developers, but is it a front-end, full stack, or back-end oriented? It's your choice, and you can tell us what you want to know more and learn more. But you will work with real projects, and you will learn the real stuff. You will be part of our team. Um, more information you can find from play.ee slash jobs, summer internship. And um, the application deadline is April 1st. We will uh, then uh, send out the home homework and uh, at the beginning of, uh, or at the end of May, we will uh, we'll announce the winners. We will uh, pick one or up to three people who can join for internship, depends on them, um, on the candidates. What else? Uh, we are also in search of web developers, front-end developers, WordPress enthusiasts, and also actually PHP developers. So if you are interested, then uh, let us know. And uh, you can uh, join our booth, which is uh, in the next hall. Um, you just walk through <laughs> the first entrance and back, and you will find our logos over there, and you can learn more about us over there. Uh, in addition, you can play our quiz and play.ee slash quiz and win some prizes. Um, sign up and, and you will be notified if you're a win. And uh, you can also see more information about us from Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. And instead of telling you join our team, uh, I'm gonna invite you to play because uh, our work mantra is work hard, play hard. And um, that's what we do. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and for those who are taking pictures during the day and posting your pictures on social media, don't forget to use our official hashtags as well. Hashtag Unidartu, hashtag Unidartu Delta, and hashtag Delta Career Day. And now we will continue with the presentations. And next up is Priya. The stage is yours. Tervitus. Mul on hea meel täna tutvustada teile ühte Tartu kesklinnas resideeruvat riigi asutust Priya. Ehk pika nimetusega põllumajandusregistrite ja informatsiooniamet. Minu nimi on Marjel. Mina olen Priya arendusjuht. Ja täna oleme siin, et anda aimu kõigest sellest, mida Priiakad teevad ja miks oleks väga äge kõikidel noortel alustada Priias töötamist. Meil on missiooniga töö, väga missiooni tunnetusega töö. Me oleme võtnud endale südame asjaks 
panustada ühe konkreetse ja tugeva sektori Eesti maaelu elujõulisuse ja õitsengu arendamisesse. Meie visiooniks ja missiooniks on aidata kaasa Eesti maaelu arengule igas mõttes ja meil on põhimõtteliselt kaks väga tugevat põhilist väärtust, põhilist eesmärki, mis meid kannavad, see on see, kui kasulikult me oma tegevusega olema. Ja teine sisse poole suunatud eesmärk, kui õnnelikud on inimesed, kes igapäevaselt priiast töötavad ja toimetavad ja meie missiooni ellu viivad. Aga kes me oleme? Nagu ütlesin, meie peakontur asub Tartu kesklinnas, aga meie töötajad on üle Eesti laiali ja tegelikult töötavad ja toimetavad täpselt seal, kus neile meeldib, sest me praktiviseerime kauktööd igas mõttes ja tähenduses. Meid on umbes 320-330 inimest, sõike päris mõnus paras tiim. Ja mida me teeme? Prii on tuntud, kui põlumajundus toetusi vahendav asutus. Ja võiks ju eeldada või arvata, et see tõttu meie töötajad, meie teenistujad pigem on põlumajunduslikku tausta ja aridusega. Kas see on õige? Aga siiski meie igapäeva elu kirjeldavad pigem huvitavad innovatsiooniprojektid. IT maailm. Me oleme üks väheseid asutusi, kellel on endal iseseisev IT meeskonde tiim, kes igapäevaselt uusi lahendusi loovad, kes teevad koostöös väga suurte IT ettevõtetega uusi arendusi, kes mõtlevad läbi, kuidas tänapäeva tehnoloogiaid panna tööle meie enda klientide inimeste kui ka meie töötajate heauluks ja kasuks. Sellist põllu peal olekut ja tööd on järjest vähemaks jäänud, sest et nagu ma ütlesin, me paneme satelliidid enda heaks tööle, me paneme IT-süsteemid enda heaks tööle, me loome teenuseid, mis pakuvad lisaks toetuste jagamisele teadmisi ja väärtust meie klientisektoritele paremate otsuste tegemiseks, oma igapäeva töös, oma elus, oma äris. Aga loomulikult rikastavad meie töökultuuriga kohapealsed kontrollid, inspektorid, kes siis ka oma igapäeva töös huuenduslikke seadmeid ja tehnikaid kasutavad. Meie motivatsioonipakett on küllustlik ja usun, et siit leiab iga üks endale midagi. Me riigi asutusene ei jää siin alla tegelikult ära sektorile. Nagu ma juba nimetasin, siis on kauktöö meie jaoks päriselt oluline ja tähtsel kohal olev tööviis. Mina ise toimetan ja töötan igapäeva tõrvast, tulen välja ainult siis, kui on võimalik esineda ja kohtuda huvitavate inimestega. Meil on paindlik tööaeg, meil on väga palju arendusinimesi, arendusideesid, arendusmeeskondi, rahvusvahelisi projekte, kuhu panustada, kuhu tulla ja lõppkokku võtaks. Me kõike teeme ikkagi oma missiooni Eesti maaelu arengu nimel. Meie boks on ka kõrval toas, võite ja palun, tulge meie juurde kuulama ja uurima konkreetseid pakkumisi, konkreetseid ametikohti, mis täna siin meie ka kaasas on, infolehed ja kindlasti meil on inimesed, kes täpsemalt siis meie vajadustest räägivad. Aitäh teile! Thank you! And for everyone who's joining us online, uh, you can also visit our expo page where all of the companies have put up information about their job offers, their website, their companies. So make sure to visit that as well. Does this also uh, applies to everyone who's on site? If you talk to interesting people, find companies that interest you, you can follow up by looking their information up on our expo page in Works Up. And now we'll take a short one minute break and then we will continue with the presentations.
Now we will continue with the presentations, and next up is Poku, formerly called Fortumo. Testing. <laughs> oh, hey, Tiet. Hey, Ryan. Uh, actually, I wanted to ask you a question. Uh, well, I'm kind of uh, wrapping up school this mm -hmm. year, and I'm looking for a job. And I know that you work for uh, Fortuma, was it? Uh, so how do you like it? Uh, yes, I do. I've been working for, uh, for them for two years as a professional foosball player and also a software engineer. Okay. And we're actually called, called Poku now. Oh. Why Poku? Uh, well, in the middle of 2020, we were acquired. And uh, just this February, we started to fully come together as one company. Okay. And uh, what does this one company do? Uh, well, our customers are big companies who wish to offer payment solutions to their customers. Okay. And what we help them to do is they make a single integration to us, okay. and we make many integrations to different payment methods, such as mobile phones, but also mobile wallets. Oh. Our customers, the companies, include some small indie companies such as Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, Spotify, you name it. Yeah, I've heard of some of those. Uh, but what do you like the most about working in Boku now? I definitely most like the colleagues, you know, okay. not only are they super smart and super helpful during the work day, but also they are just really cool people to hang out with. And we have tons of different events together, you know, there's uh, board game evenings, uh, disc golf during the summer. And, you know, if you have a hobby that you would like to do with others, you can always propose an offer. Okay, cool. Sounds cool. But I'm kind of still not sure. I mean, I. I have programmed for only like three years, maybe, mm -hmm. but uh, and I'm definitely not the best uh, like engineer. But uh, should I still like try to apply? Uh, most definitely. You know, a couple of years ago, I was in exactly the same boat. Oh. You know, just finishing school, and then I figured I'd apply. There was an initial interview, and then I got the homework task, which seemed really scary at first, but you know, mm -hmm. I got through it. There was a technical interview where they asked even more about it, so I learned even more. And you know, if you're worried about, you know, like maybe if I'm not able to do my job, then the colleagues are super helpful. They will help okay. you with anything, you know, and uh, your main goal or what you do at start is just learn, learn, learn. And okay. at the job, I've learned so much more. Okay, cool. And uh, how does your like day to day look like? Uh, well, usually the hours are flexible. But okay. you know, I come to the office, we have a stand-up meeting, not okay. the comedy type, but the small meeting where we discuss what we did the last day, what we're going to do today, and uh, you know, what kind of problems we had. Then we usually okay. have lunch, and then just work on the tasks. OK. That's, uh, that's cool. So uh, like, where can I get some additional information? Uh, well, you can write to me personally on my OnlyFans, but you can also find information on boku.com, okay. temporarily still fortuma.com, and you can also come visit our booth in the Blue Hall. Oh, I will definitely do that. All thank right. you. Cool. Okay. See, See you in Boku. Then. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, those who joined us right now, uh, you don't have to only stay in this hall. There's actually a separate hall in the next room as well. So be sure to visit both halls, talk to the companies, talk to your representatives, talk about the job offers, the internship offers, uh, because uh, that's why you came here, right? To find internships, to find jobs. And next up, we have uh, the next company will be Swedbank to take the stage, so please. Hi, everybody. I'm going to do my presentation in English so that uh, everybody could understand. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of uh, what we're doing in Swedbank and make sure you come to our booth later on to discuss it more in detail and get more information about it. So. Um, 
if you're not sure who Swedbank is, it's actually one of the biggest uh, banks in uh, in our four home markets, which uh, is uh, Sweden, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. So as you see, our market market share is quite big. Uh, we have 16.3 million people all over these four countries, and uh, we have uh, 7.25 million private customers. So quite a big um, company, but uh, really, really people oriented. Um, we have approximately 16,000 employees, so you will definitely find some great professional networks by joining Swedbank. Um, in Estonia, we actually have uh, a little bit over 2,500 employees, uh, and we have so many different areas. So, whatever your interest uh, lies, we are really open uh, to get your uh, uh, application. So, we have uh, mm, uh, position, positions ranging from uh, IT, data, also uh, in finance and analytics, and also some support units as well. So if you're interested in marketing, then we are also welcoming you. Um, in terms of our um, traineeship uh, programs, we have two traineeship programs. First of all, I will give you an overview of the Kickstart program, and we also have a one program that is focused more on the data and analytics. So if you're a data field uh, uh, expert, then uh, I definitely encourage you to read more about that other program. But the uh, Kickstart program is uh, one of our uh, biggest uh, traineeship programs, uh, which is held all over the Baltics. So positions vary from IT and data, until analysis and other support units. In, in 2021, we took 100 employees uh, or trainees uh, in Estonia, so uh, definitely a way to grow your professional network as well. In, uh, in, in our Kickstarter program, in addition uh, to your uh, traineeship tasks, you will also get a chance to participate in different seminars and workshops, which introduce you some uh, different opportunities uh, in the banking business. We will focus on your career as well, since I know that uh, a lot of people who are uh, starting out their careers uh, uh, really want to kind of like explore the, the other opportunities as well so we will definitely uh, work on uh, on uh, how how you could uh, continue your career in the banking sector um, and over 50 percent of our uh, kickstarters continue after uh, joining uh, the traineeship program so definitely a high chance of starting your career later on as well uh, the other program that we have is focused on more data and analytics, uh, so it's called Data and Analytics Academy. Um, it's an annual program with the aim to promote actually our data-related positions, ranging from data science uh, to data engineering, also data an analysis, so definitely read more about it if you're interested in that. It's a smaller program. Uh, we have uh, approximately take like 12 to 14 people every year, uh, but the participation or continuance rate afterwards uh, is 79%, so definitely once again a really high chance to kickstart your career in the banking sector. Uh, in this program, uh, you will also, in addition to the work in, in the teams, get a chance to participate in uh, different seminars and uh, uh, they will focus more on IT and data. We will uh, give you an overview of our business uh, in, in terms of like uh, what are the business models, what are banking services, so on. And also we will focus on uh, communication and career planning that uh, even though you are more in a technical position, it is uh, really, really important nowadays to have those skills as well. And to this program, we are looking mostly IT, economics, mathematics, uh, and statistics master students, but uh, we are not limiting to that. So if you're interested, come join our booth and uh, we can discuss your options in the program. Uh, and the application period to that program starts in April 2022. And uh, last but not least, I will tell you why you should join uh, Swedbank uh, in, uh, as a trainee. So first of all, I started my career uh, in Swedbank as a trainee uh, four years ago myself. And I'm really, really happy to still be here. I have uh, had uh, different uh, uh, career opportunities along the way, gotten promotions and gotten to do different tasks uh, with the field experts and uh, also uh, you will get a chance to work in an international environment. Our starting positions are paid and you will get a chance to um, be a part of our employer value proposition. But if you want to know more, come to our booth. We are happy to talk to you and we have some awesome merch there as well. So feel free to join us. Thank you.
Thank you. For everyone who has already taken pictures, thinks of taking pictures on site, don't forget to post those online with the hashtags Unitartu, hashtag Delta Career Day, or hashtag Unitartu Delta. And now we will continue on with Ridango. So the stage is yours. Hello, everybody. Before I start with the introduction, I'm from Tallinn. Can you, everybody, show me Tartu spirit? Raise some noise. Woo! No. That's the Tartu spirit. Come on, guys. Show me the Tartu spirit. Woo! Come on, all right. So uh, I'm from Ridango. Our table is in the next hall. Uh, and the Ridango is the, I would say, the best kept secret in Estonia. Uh, we have uh, over 12 years of history. Uh, we provide information technology systems for uh, public transport associations. Uh, we are in the Nordics, in the Baltics, in the Asia, in um, Ridango, almost 200 people work for us. We have uh, headquarters in Tallinn and uh, offices also in Slovenia, two offices. So uh, uh, we provide uh, information technology systems uh, like ticketing system, payments, uh, real-time systems, uh, trans demand responsive transport uh, also. And uh, yeah, so uh, about our internship program, Edgar will take over. Yes. Hello. Um, regarding the internship, uh, well, it's, it's more like, I would like to call it a juniorship rather than an internship. Uh, well, it is an actual internship, but we are hoping to see uh, that the people who come to our internship, people who actually want to work in software development, that we can continue uh, the relationship afterwards after the internship uh, program also. So it's a, it's a paid internship with the possibility to continue as a full-time employee if everything goes uh, smoothly, let's put it this way. Uh, you, have, you may have a chance to work uh, already as uh, Christian really fast mentioned uh, our ticketing system, which basically means everything related to the public transportation tickets including uh, best price logic, for example. Uh, then we have real-time information where we have our own, very own uh, prediction engine, which means that we predict our, ourselves where and when our buses arrive, uh, where they will be slowing down, will be going faster. And also, yeah, as already Christian mentioned, we are the first ones in the uh, Nordic countries where we implemented uh, contactless payments in public transportation, which means that, uh, well, you can buy the actual ticket in the bus through the validator. Uh, the internship uh, takes place in the summer. It can start, well, the official uh, period is from June to July, but it can start earlier if needed. And uh, we have in our boxes, we have those cool looking Fanta cans with QR codes. And from there, you can find more information and uh, a link to our sort of a small task also, which you need to, or a small problem that you need to solve. Uh, and regarding the internship, we sort of, the plan is, that the people who come and join us, they will have a chance to work on a sort of, do the real thing, work on an actual software project. And there's also a small competition, uh, which sort of, there will be small teams put together from in interns. Uh, they have a chance to use mentorship and uh, they will solve one real life problem. Uh, and the winner, uh, sort of the winner's team uh, solution will be sort of put to actual use. So uh, our time is almost up. Uh, come find our box in, in the next room. We have uh, our own version of whack-a-mole uh, game, uh, Ridango's uh, flavor, let's say. 
uh, come check it out, come play, come uh, talk with us. Uh, Edgar will tell you a lot about uh, internship and I will tell you a lot about Redango. So uh, Estonian uh, best kept secret, uh, come find out what it is. And the whack-a-mole record was broken today already in this event by a guy from Tartu and uh, come break his record. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, our next presenter has brought a deck of cards with him. So there will be definitely some tricks coming your way. Stay tuned. Playtech, the stage is yours. So thanks a lot. Well, hello. Uh, my name is Ted and uh, I'm from Playtech and uh, I'm here to give you a little overview about our company and, and what we are doing and also our summer internship. Uh, but uh, let me start with, uh, uh, let me go uh, way back in history. So uh, people have been always trying to find ways to entertain themselves. And uh, for centuries, like we have been looking for, for ways to keep ourselves entertained. And uh, did you know that the classic uh, six-sided dice dates back 5,000 years to 3,000 BC in Mesopotamia. And uh, do you know that uh, playing cards were uh, uh, found in China in the ninth century? So uh, entertainment has been around uh, the human race for a very long time. And, uh, uh, and there have been also cities built uh, to, for entertainment. Let's take Las Vegas, which uh, expanded a lot during the 1930s when, uh, because of the construction of the Hoover Dam, a lot of people uh, uh, were in Las Vegas and of course they needed to be entertained. And uh, this is why uh, uh, the city of Las Vegas, like it became prosperous and also the place where people went to, uh, to be lucky. Uh, Playtech was founded in the era of the dot-com bubble. So uh, those who don't know what this dot-com bubble uh, was, it was an era between 1994 to 2000 where uh, a lot of industries with the growth of the internet also moved their businesses uh, online. And uh, Playtech was one of the lucky companies who was founded in, uh, in 1999 in that era uh, in cooperation with, uh, with the tech savvy people right here from Tartu, Estonia, and uh, with investors from, uh, from Tel Aviv in, in Israel. And uh, during the 20 plus years that uh, we have been in the industry, we have uh, built a very huge corporation. There are more than 6,000 employees located in the more than 20 countries. And uh, we have gradually improved our product portfolio. And right now, Playtech is one of the leading uh, software development companies in the industry. Uh, I have been uh, lucky enough to be in this journey for more than 15 years. And uh, why lucky, uh, how I ended up in Playtech was uh, a lucky chance, I guess, because I met with, uh, with one of my friends in, uh, in a nightclub right here in Tartu. And uh, he proposed that I would apply to Playtech. And uh, here I am. Uh, Playtech summer internship uh, uh, is something that we have been doing for many, many years. And uh, we have a lot of uh, open positions also for 2022 starting from uh, development, quality assurance, uh, service operations, uh, building information systems, uh, DevOps, uh, and many others. Uh, and, uh, and we are looking for, uh, for new interns to come and join us. And uh, well, what I can say is that the competition for those internship positions will definitely be tough. It will uh, require effort. Uh, but, uh, and also it will require luck. But I'm very confident that, uh, that if you get the position, then uh, being with us during the summer will feel like you have won a jackpot. So if you would like to get to, 
if you would like to understand more about the summer, in summer internship uh, positions and about Playtech, then uh, visit us in like our stand is in the Blue Hall. And we have uh, awesome people uh, in place to answer all of your questions. And there will also be a introduction event for the internship on March 16th. This will be held online and everyone is welcome to come. Thank you. Thank you, Playtech. And uh, during the day, you might also see on site Tixu, the university mascot. Come say hi to him, her, uh, they, uh, and also take any pictures uh, that you can while Tixu is on site. So, and also, don't forget to use our hashtags hashtag Unitartu, hashtag Delta Career Day. And now, uh, our next presenter will join us online. So, cool module, the stage is yours. Hi, everyone. My name is Kevin, and I'm a product manager at Comodule. So, what is Comodule? Seven years ago, we started developing modules that connect bikes to the internet. And people asked us why. We drive cars and why should a bicycle be connected to the internet? So how did we make it? Our big bang was when a guy called Travis Wandersanden bought a couple of scooters from China and put them on the streets of Santa Monica in California and said that he has solved the biggest problem in micromobility and that's the driver. This company became the fastest growing company in human history. And what, what happened then was that everybody wanted to do the business, but there was only one company in the world at that moment of time who could connect scooters to the internet. And that was us. Today, we have become the global leader in what we do. We've connected more than 500,000 scooters and bikes in over 45 countries. And all this is produced in our own factory in Salin. Of course, people told us that it's a bad idea to build your own factory. But even more, people told us that it's a bad idea to build your own scooter in Estonia. But we still did it. We came from building electronics only and today we are the only company that is producing electric scooters outside China. Now, think about it. The only company outside China that is doing it. For example, if you take mobile phones, then there are no companies that are building mobile phones for an end consumer outside China. So we're really doing a game change here. And why we do it? is because we understood that the scooters that are currently built are just so bad and so bad for the environment as well. And when we were building the scooters, the initial idea was to sell it to operators, like we did with electronic stuff. But we understood that, damn, this scooter is so good. We don't want to sell it to the operators anymore. We want to start operating ourselves. And then we launched in Salin with a brand of tool and it's super bloody exciting you don't imagine if you put the scooters on the streets and then boom the facebook feed goes mad people are driving everywhere in the city it's super cool and today our customers have done over two million rides and we're going to expand more in the near future we also understood that besides renting the scooter people also want to own one so we built an end-user scooter, Aika. Last but not least, enjoy your rides. And the best way how to enjoy the rides is to join Comodule. Boom. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for everyone who's 
looking at uh, the presentations online. If you miss any presentations during the day, you can later on join. We will be having these presentations throughout the day. And also don't forget to visit the company expo pages because there you can see the, get the information about the positions, about the web pages, uh, and contact the companies if any of those positions are of interest to you. Uh, now we will be joined by Kappa Zeta, so please, the stage is yours. Uh, hello, I hope you hear me. I am Kaupo from Kappa Zeta. Uh, I will tell you three things, uh, who we are, uh, what we do, and finally announce uh, our job and internship opportunities. Uh, we are Earth Observation Services company from Estonia. Uh, it means that we derive information out of satellite data. Uh, we are established uh, seven years ago, and uh, we are a spin-off of uh, Tartu uh, Observatory, University of Tartu. Uh, I, I would like to emphasize that we are not uh, like a classical startup, but more, uh, more a science uh, heritage uh, company. Uh, we use a lot of uh, synthetic aperture radar data. Uh, cool technology you can see through the clouds, uh, measure the moisture, detect uh, metals, uh, movements, do height models and, and so on, and also apply deep learning technology. Uh, a lot of our activities are in agriculture, but uh, not only. Uh, the next slide actually visualizes the best, like uh, where we currently work. Uh, in, uh, there is this uh, horizontal of Sentinel-1 analysis ready data. Uh, in the next slide I will talk a bit more, but this is providing value for a long list of, uh, of verticals of, uh, of both private companies and, and government institutions. And then we are working on the agri-insurance uh, vertical. So uh, what is Kappa-1? Uh, Kappa One is a family of services we are uh, launching right now. Uh, the first customers are already served. And uh, it's needed because uh, satellite data is there, but for most of the users it is too hard to use. It is, uh, you have to do 10 pre-processing steps. You must have dedicated software to get the value out of it. So we want to solve it. So ideally Kappa One, one click or one API command integration and use. Uh, here are some uh, data layer uh, visualizations. In the, in the left you see uh, our WMS service and uh, in the right side the biomass estimate. Uh, so there are both kind of like direct derivatives uh, from uh, which are like just deterministically computed from, uh, from radar data and also AI modeled layers. This biomass layer here on the on the right is, uh, is an AI model uh, based layer. And uh, yeah, we are currently hiring and there are uh, four positions available uh, in data science, uh, in software development and uh, a tricky one, a product owner for agri-insurance services. There are also internship options for uh, bachelor students, master students. Uh, so if uh, these uh, opportunities talk to you, then after the presentation, come and uh, find me, ask uh, questions and uh, hopefully join our team. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Kappa Zera. Now we will be uh, continuing on with Delia. Please, the stage is yours. Tere, vaheluseks eesti keelt äkki värskendab ja toob inimesi rohkem siia mind kuulema. Teli ja Eesti on osa rahvusvahelisest Teli ja gruppist. Ja seal töötab üle 20 000 inimese. Mina olen üks nendest. Minu nimi on Kairi Meister ja ma juhin televisiooni ja meelelahutuse arendusosakonda. Eestis on meid kokku 1600 inimest. Meil on ligikaudu 400 erinevat positsiooni, 79 erinevat osakonda. Uskuge mind, siin on palju väljakutseid. 
Ma olen Eliaga olnud nüüd juba kümme aastat. Ja kas mul on olnud iga? Ei. Miks? Sest siin on inimesed, kes mind inspireerivad. Ja inimesed, meie inspireerime telijat. Ja ainult ühes koos me suudame luua seda väge ja jõudu, et luua inimestele, meie klientidele uusi lahendusi. Väljakutsetest meie ettevõttes puudust ei tule. Eelmisel aastal me tõime Turule 5G võrgu. See aasta on see meie fookus ja see juhib ja võimaldab meil luua täiesti erinevaid teenuseid meie klientide jaoks. Võtame kas või televisiooni valdkonna, kus ma töötan. On võimalik teha televisiooni ülekandeid, üle avatud mere. Aga ka teised väljakutsed, meie oma televisiooni meediakanal Inspira või siis meie erinevad viisid panustada keskkonda. Keskkond on oluline teli jaoks ja see tõttu ei ole teli ja ainult telku ettevõte, ta on ka panustamas ühiskonda. Ehk siis näiteks digikoristuse päevad või mõelda oma äri otsuseid rohelisel viisil, kas või seadmete taaskasutus või roheline energia. Neid võimalusi on hästi palju, kus kaasa mõelda. Ja ma tahaksin väga, väga teid julgustama, uudistama telija ettevõtet, sellepärast, et telija üks ainulaadne ja väga äge kogemus on see, et sa saad seal inimesena kasvada, sa saad areneda. Mina kümne aasta jooksul alustasin tegelikult ettevõttes analüütikuna. Ma sain kätt proovida projektijuhina, arendusjuhina, gruppijuhina ja nüüd juhin tippeksperte. See on võimas kogemus. Ühtlasi teeb telija koostööd ka ülikoolide ja koolidega. Meie jaoks on hästi oluline, et digiharidus ja teadlikus tehnoloogiast oleks üle Eesti hästi kaetud. Ja see tõttu julgen teid kutsuda meie boksi, mis asub Blue Hoolis, kus me tudvustame teile täiesti uut lahendust tudengite. See on Spark Akadeemia. See alustab sellest kevadest ja miks ta on eriline tudengite jaoks ja miks ta on teissugune praktika on see, et ta koondab praktikandid ja loob neile võimaluse integreeruda meie enda töötajatega tugevamal määral ja nad tunnevad, et nad on ühine meie pere ja võimalus ettevõtet tunda tervikuna. See ka Tulge, uudistage, mis on Spark Akadeemia ja saate lähemalt teada. Ja mis ma oskan teile veel öelda? Teli ja loob tulevikku. Tulge, loome koos tulevikku. Aitäh teile! Thank you, Teli ja... For those who have just recently joined us, uh, take a look uh, on this room, in this room, but also uh, go to the other hall, which is right at the end of the hallway to the left. And everyone who's joining us online, uh, don't forget to share your experiences on the social media and also visit the expo page in WorksUp. Now we will take a short two minute break and then continue with the presentation.
Welcome back to Delta Career Day. Uh, and now we will continue with the presentations. And next up is Bolt, whose presentation is through a video. We have Bolt. That was kind of fast, right? Well, that's how we like to. Bro, we have Bolt one of Europe's leading tech companies with almost 100 million customers and over 2,000 employees. Another company at this scale moves at this speed. Here are some examples. It took us five years to reach 10 million customers. Now we're adding 10 million every two months. Instead of reducing headcount during lockdown, we added another 500 employees and launched scooters and food delivery in 74 cities in 12 months. But that wasn't enough. So we launched car sharing with Bolt Drive and that took us four months. Months and grocery delivery followed just one month later. That's two new business lines in five months. How did we do it? Well, we don't spend time on bureaucracy. Instead, we move fast in small teams, teams where everybody acts like an owner. So 13 owners launched Bolt Market in one month. So when others are doing this... We're doing this. As the company grows, so did we. I started as a customer support specialist. And now I'm a regional lead. And I started as a recruiter. And now I'm a global recruitment manager. And I've been here for four and a half years, which is about average. That's one and a half years more than the industry average. And I joined Bolt when it was just a small Estonian startup. Now it's the world's fastest growing mobility platform. Let's go. go, go, go. Thank you, Bolt. And now, uh, next up, we have Foxway. So please, the stage is yours. Do you know how much carbon emission was produced making this phone? The carbon emission is approximately 70 kilograms, while the device itself weighs a little bit over 130 grams. Think about this. 1.5 million new mobile devices were sold on 2021. Year by year, the e-waste is becoming a global issue. It is expected to eat uh, 75 million tons for 2030. It's not sustainable. So how do we solve this issue? Foxway is all about sustainability. We are on the planet saving mission. We buy used mobile devices and computers, add value, and give them a second chance on circular way. Last year, we processed 1.5 million devices, and with this, we reduced the carbon emission approximately 72,000 tons. If you're thinking, you can compare it removing 15,000 cars from the road. Now, and how the IT is related to this? this in Voxway, we are really passionate about technology and making climate change from that. We are developing unique IT solution that helps our customers to meet their sustainability goals and to contribute to the greener society. In one week, we process approximately 17,000 mobile devices and 2,000 computers here in Tartu. And if you compare the new device production with giving a new life for use device like this here, then for this device, we produced 15 times less carbon, uh, carbon emission from that side. From the last two years, we have doubled our IT team. And we are not stopping here. Yes, Tartu is our hometown but we are truly international and multicultural. We have team members from seven different countries. And, and from that side, 
we have over 10 different uh, people from them, different culture. Today, I'm really excited to announce the opening of the IT hubs in Germany and Spain. We are looking software engineers, architects, designers, and testers. For us, it doesn't matter where would you like to work, from office or remotely from home. In our team, we have a truly strong team, uh, team passion, and we are working as one. Additional for the summer events and winter events, what you can see here, we like to hang together. My name is Margus Cook. I'm the head of software development in Foxway Recommerce. Come and join us on this planet-saving mission and let's make greener future together. Come and see the new Fox on the block. Thank you. Thank you. Includes the first part of the presentations uh, today, but don't switch off yet because we will be having uh, another uh, section with presentations in about half an hour. Uh, during that time, we urge you to really go on Workspace, look at the expo profiles of all of these the, of these companies, uh, go uh, look at the job offers that they're offering, and everyone on site definitely look at all the stands, meet the people. I can guarantee there's great people here who want to all talk to you, meet you, so don't be afraid and just approach the stands. Uh, this hall uh, here is not the only hall, uh, but actually we have a much bigger hall at the end of the hallway to the left as well, so be sure to visit that one as well. Now, uh, we will start the short break and I'll see you in half an hour.
Hello and welcome back to the Delta Career Day. Uh, today we have over, uh, around 50 companies that are present uh, at the event physically, but also whose information you can find out on our expo page, our workshop uh, page. And you can follow the presentations that, are had, we, that we have here throughout the day. So don't go anywhere. We will start with the second block of presentations now. And first up, we have QMinder. So please, the stage is yours. Hello, I'm Emily. I'm from QMinder. And we are a startup that offers Q management and service intelligence platform for data-driven companies. So basically, we make grading in line suckless. And QMinder actually got started around 10 years ago at the University of Tartu Hackathon. And by now, we have helped make service better for over 80 million people in 50 plus countries. But how does it work exactly? Let's say you go to a bank. Then instead of the usual paper number ticket system, we want to be more personal and put people in queues with their names. So for that, you would have an iPad, you type in your name and select the reason for your visit. Uh, and uh, at the same time, uh, we offer companies uh, the information about your visit. So for example, uh, clerks can see how many people are waiting in line or what is the reason for visit. Uh, location managers can have a better overview of their team performance or they can better plan their opening hours. And business owners who oftentimes manage hundreds of locations can have a better overview of those locations. So for example, Bolt uses us in their drivers locations all around the world and we provide them the information to compare those locations. We have a worldwide customer base. We have all the usual banks, retails, hospitals, government clients. We have ride-sharing clients like Bolt, Uber, TD. Uh, US military and cannabis shops are using us at the same time. QMinder has been used at, used at the Olympics. And LHV Bank in Estonia, who is very well known for their great customer service, has been using QMinder for years. And we are building this system that is daily used at work by thousands of people with a team of only less than 20. So why should you join us? As I said, we are doing something on such a large scale with quite a small team. And as we want to help companies offer more personal approach, then the same goes with our own team as well. And yes, we do offer all the usual benefits, but when I have asked our team what do they value most about working at QMinder, then they have said that we are willing to go the extra mile for them and pay attention to details. For example, I believe that most companies here today say that they offer flexibility. Well, I can actually prove that uh, I'm an archer. I represent Estonia internationally. And in QMinder, I have full support to go to practice during work hours or travel a few weeks for competitions. And today with me, there's also Gustav, who later can tell you his story as well, but he's probably the most well-known chicken farmer in Estonian startup community. So, if you want to learn more about how an athlete and a chicken farmer work together at a startup, then come by QMinder's booth and let's have a chat. Thank you, and uh, don't forget to share your experiences uh, on social media today as well. Uh, you can use the hashtags uh, Unitarto or hashtag Delta Career Day. And next up, uh, we have Big Bank. Hello, welcome to Tartu Career Day. My name is Margus, and as I said, I'm from company Big Bank. Uh, what also brings me here is that I'm also a lecturer in Tartu University uh, and also in Narva College. But today we are going to speak about Big Bank. Uh, Big Bank uh, is a small specialized bank with big ambitions. In 2002, Big Bank was rather small, but compared to nowadays, we are operating in nine markets and we are, have more than 400 employees. 
uh, group wide, and we also started our new uh, branch in uh, in Bulgaria. Uh, what is Big Bank? Originated in 1992 in Tartu, the same uh, city we are today here. We are offering mainly term deposits and consumer loans. Uh, we have a bank license. We are an Estonian bank. There are not too many banks that are truly Estonian banks. We are one of them. And uh, Big Bank has two Estonian owners. We also have a technology area, what brings us here today. We have roughly 100 uh, employees. They are in uh, four cities. Uh, we have partner engineers and like more than 200 partners. We are every daily cooperating. Some of them are here as well. Uh, what Big Bank did uh, some years ago, we thought that it's enough about some legacy softwares and we did something totally crazy. We built our own banking platform from the scratch. So it's a microservice based uh, modern banking platform uh, that has been rewarded with several uh, uh, rewards. And it's built uh, with Vue.js, Node.js and Java. It operates in OpenShift and we are using a lot of Atlassian toolset. So if you are interested in Atlassian, then please uh, come by. Our business process is built in Gamunda. It is very easy for a business analyst and for a developer to speak with each other, meaning that there is a very huge pound in between. They can understand each other language. Uh, how we are giving out the loans is that all the process is fully automated. Here is a view of our uh, minute by minute uh, decisions made for the customers. Some data has been uh, removed uh, for purposes. Everything with you is data driven. The decisions with you is data driven. So if you want to be part of uh, uh, data and working with the data, making decisions based on data, then please come by. Here are our values. We are focusing on five core values. Uh, shortly, how the banking software look like. This is a banking platform. Usually they are gray colored. Uh, our banking platform is not. It's rather interesting and our employees really do love it. We are hiring <laughs> as all the companies around me. Uh, what we are doing is that uh, we are looking for uh, software engineers, quality engineers, uh, infrastructure engineers, and also banking software help desk and user support specialists. The work positions are in Tartu, Tallinn, Vilnius, if you're interested. But that's not all. We are also offering internship program this year. It starts from May. It ends in August. And if you would like to continue, we are also going to offer you a job position. Yes. It's a paid internship. So we are also going to get paid for it. Come by by our booth. We are on the another room. If you just enter, enter it. You can already see us. We have this blue hoodies on and uh, green t-shirts. Why should you consider Big Bank? I would say three main reasons. One of them being is that you can work on modern banking platform. Uh, quite many developers who have joined us have said that, wow, this is a banking platform? Really? It's, it's, like, it's like a web page. It's, it's very interesting to build. We encourage and support your professional development. There uh, is a, a huge amount of things ongoing to, to support you. And we focus on the customer. We don't want the developer to write just a code, not understanding what is going on. We really need that everybody understand what is the end result for the customer. It's very important for us to take the time to understand how does it influence the customer. So if you feel that internship for the summer period interests you, or you're seeking for job positions, Please come by. Here are some uh, cards for you to take or come to our booth. If you have any further questions, I'm right here. Please come and have a chat. My name was, my name was Margus. Enjoy the Delta Career Day. Thank you. Thank you. For those who are joining us on site, uh, this is not the only room you can visit. Be sure to go to the other hall as well. You can just go out of this uh, into the hallway and then to the end of the hallway and at the end of the hallway to the left and then you'll see the bigger hall where all of the other companies are present as well. Uh, for those who are looking at us on, on online, on Worksop, uh, definitely go see all of the companies that are listed in the expo page. 
go through the companies, look at what they're about, what they offer, uh, either job or, or internship positions, and be sure to also contact them. Because uh, if, if you leave without contacts, then it's really hard to really get that job or internship position if you really want it. And now we will have a short one minute break and then go on with Norta. Now we will continue with the presentations, and it's an honor to uh, introduce Nortal, so please, the stage is yours. Nii, aga tere kõigile. Mina olen Eneken, olen värbamispartner Nortalis. Ja Nortal kes siis veel ei tea, et on siis Tarkuar arendus ja konsultatsiooni ettevõtte. Ja mida see täpsemalt tähendab ja kus meie kliendid on? Et tegelikult meie kliendid on nii avaliku sektori ettevõtted kui erasektori ettevõtted. Me tegutseme nii Eestis kui tegelikult ka näiteks USA's, ehk et USA'st Euroopani ja Euroopast Lähis-Idani võiks öelda. Ja millega me siis tegelikult tegeleme, et, et teie ka mõistaksite, et milline on see mõju, mida me loome. Et me tegelikult iga päev töötame selle nimel, et, et meil oleks siis nii öelda, kuidas öelda, Eesti inimeste mõju on nähtav sellest, et 47% näiteks inimestest ääletab e-valimistel läbi online keskkonna. Et see on näiteks üks asi, mis on meie arendajate ja partnerite poolt loodud. Või praegu väga aktuaalne, et tulumaksu tagastus, et 98% inimestest on oma tulud tagasi saanud ja taotuse teinud läbi online keskkonna, et samamoodi, et siin on meie panus. Või ka see, et kui te digitaalselt annate algerju, et siis läbi selle online keskkonna oleme me kokku ainult aastas näiteks viis päeva. Ja kui nüüd rääkida veel numbritest, et meie boks on seal paremat kätnurgas, et astuge kindlasti läbi, et seal on kirjas ka, et tegelikult Nortalis on üle tuhand inimese. Eestis töötab üle kolmese inimese. Meil on 20 plus aastat kogemust. Ja ma ütleks, et Nortalis on inimene selles mõttes kõige keskel, et meil võetakse otsuseid vastu väga kiiresti, inimesi kuulatakse, inimestest hoolitakse, et... Kui ma armastan alati öelda, et kunagi inimene ei vali ettevõtet ja ettevõtte ei vali ainult inimest, et see on tegelikult puhas koostöö, et kui uus inimene tuleb Nortalisse, et siis mis teda Nortalis ootab, et näiteks meil on väga põhjalik sisseelamisprogramm, ehk et tegelikult kogu sisseelamisaja jooksul on uuel töötajal siis oma juhendaja ja mentor, kes teda siis toetab kogu sisseelamisperioodi jooksul, et inimesed õnnestuksid. Ja muidugi on meil kõik erinevad soodustused, nii nagu ettevõtetes ikka, aga ma tooksin välja võibolla selle ka, et igal inimesel on igas kuus üks päev, mis teeb kokku siis nii öelda 12 päeva aastas põhimõtteliselt isikliku arengu koolituspäevi ka, mis on siis tegelikult asustatud ja neid on võimalik siis teha ka erinevate litsentside jaoks. Ja mis veel, et meil ei ole ainult mõeldud enda valdkonna põhistele koolitustele, et näiteks kui sa oled ka raamatupidaja või sa oled analüütik, et siis sa saad kuuluda sellistesse nagu kogukonna gruppidesse ka ja saad tegelikult siis arendada oma teadmisi ka teistes valdkondades Nortalis. 
Ja et ma ütleks, et võibolla tänapäeval on väga oluline veel see ka, et need rasked hetked või ajad, kus me elame, et noortalis pakutakse inimestele ka psühholoogilist tuge ja nõustamist kõikide soodustuste keskel ja me kindlasti iga kuiselt tunnustama oma inimesi, et me ei unusta ära ka seda, et inimesed vajavad tunnustamist ka rasketel aegadel ja et see, mida me oleme saavutanud, et seda me kindlasti ka oma keskis tähistame. Ja ma arvan, et vähem oluline ei ole ka tegelikult see, et tulles noortelise tööle on teil võimalik õppida tegelikult nagu üks kõikmis keelt, et te võite õppida eesti keelt, soome keelt, araabia keelt, miks mitte ka saksa keelt, sellepärast, et meie kooste partnerid ongi täpselt nendes samades riikides, nii et võimalusi on absoluutselt kõigile. Aitäh teile! Thank you. As half of the career day is already over, you might feel a bit tired, uh, you want to sit down, don't worry, because there's a lot of seating in front of the stage. You can come, take a seat, uh, be on your laptop, uh, or if you still feel like walking around, talking to people, there's excellent boxes, great people, so don't be afraid to approach them, ask about the, their companies, their job positions, and any, anything else. Uh, and now, uh, it's an honor to introduce our next presenter, uh, Wise. So please, the stage is yours. Is it? W yeah, working. Okay. Let me try to find out how this works. So thank you so much for having us. Uh, we are WISE, probably formerly known as TransferWISE by many of you. So I want to show you how are the careers at WISE, who we are, what we do. And for that, I have a video that hope works. If I click now. Amazing people that you get to work no. with. No, can I have assistance? <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> Okay, no video. <laughs> Let me explain then what we have to offer today. We also have the booth around and we are reachable if you want to get in touch with us. But basically, what WISE is, we are currently on a mission. So we are building money without borders for people without limits. And for that to happen, we also need to be limitless ourselves. So we are currently in our offices, more than 3000 Wisers. We are from more than 90 nationalities and we have more than 20 offices around the world. And let me focus first in Estonia, obviously. Uh, we have many roles currently open in Estonia, specifically for students. So, sorry, stop, stop working. <laughs> There we go. So our programs, we have internships for this summer 2022. Our applications are open and we are welcoming students for 10 weeks to work with us in software engineering and data science, obviously paid internships. You can be anywhere in the country. Uh, and if you want to know more, we already have this open so you can check out our website. We also have graduate positions. Uh, these are uh, for September 2022, so we will leave you your time to enjoy your summer after you graduate. The applications are also open, and we have all of them in the Tallinn office. We have an international team. Not all these positions are open in all our offices, but we have them all in our Estonian office. So we have one in software engineering, we have it in data science, anti-money laundering, finance, and payment operations. So if you want to know more, please get in touch with us. We are, if you're in the career fair, we are over there in the booth. If not, you also have our contact details in the virtual expo area, and you can try to find us also in LinkedIn and try to get in touch with us when you apply in our career website. So. That was actually it. Uh, I was missing my two-minute video, but thank you so much. And if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you. Thank you, Wise. It really wouldn't be a, a hybrid event without any di uh, technical difficulties. But don't worry. I know that Wise has a great profile on Expo. You can look at all the videos through there as well. So definitely check those out uh, after or, or during the events. 
Uh, but now we will uh, go on onwards uh, with our presentations. And next up is Keskkonnan Agentur, please. Their presentation will be in Estonian. Yeah, tere. Kas mind on kuulda? No, kutage keegi. Yeah, nüüd on kuulda mind. Tere, mina olen Kristine ja mina töötan Keskkonnan Agenturis. Ma olen Keskkonnan Agenturis üsna uus töötaja. Ma olen olnud siin kaheksa kuud. Ja kui ma siia tööle tulin, siis enamast esimene küsimus on, et mis asja te täpsemalt teete? Ja kui sa nüüd hästi lihtsustatud öelda, siis me ei oleme need, kes sa möödavad ja valvavad igapäevaselt Eesti keskkonna tervist. Meid on kokku üle terve Eesti, meid on pea 200 töötajad, natukene rohkem. Ja meid leidub näiteks Vilsandil, meid leidub Tartus, meil peakontor on Tallinnas, aga meil on ka väga palju inimesi, kes töötavad hoopis kodukontorist, teevad seda näiteks Haapsalust. Nii. Ja nüüd järgmine slaid, see on hästi teha slaid, ma loodan, et need lähevad kuhugi üles, et saab, kes tunneb huvi, saab täpsemalt lugeda. Aga miks ma seda slaidi näha tahan, näidata tahan, on see, et siin on sõike lause, et meie olemegi need objektiivse keskkonna info esmaalikad. Ehk, mis ma siin selle ettekandaga tahaksin ka öelda, on see, et igakord, kui te mõtlete, kus ma saan keskkonna info teisti kohta, siis peaks teile pähe tulema kohe sõna keskkonna agentoor, et see on see õige koht, kus seda infot saada. Aga mis siis see ikkagi on, millega me täpsemalt tegeleme? See on nüüd väga keeruline slaid, aga ma luban, et peale seda tuleb kohe lihtsustatud pilt. Nii, aga mis me teeme? Igapäevased meie inimesed töötavad siis nii-öelda loodusrüppes ja koguvadki andmeid. Näiteks, et kui palju hunta meil on, mis ilm meil õues on, kuidas on meie õhu seisukord. Ja kuidas see kõik palju näeb, on selline. Ehk meil on väga palju töötajaid, kes igapäevaselt töötavadki otsa looduses ja koguvad seal keskkonna infot. Mis siis edasi saab? Neid andmed on vaja hallata. Selleks meil on vaja erinevad inimesi, kellel on igasugused erinevad supervõimed, erinevad andmebaaside haldamisel. Ja me nagu tagame kõige päevaselt seda, et nad andmed oleksid võimalikult kvaliteetsed. Nii, ja siis nad lähespad nad liist, neid andmed, mis me nende andmetega teeme, me nendest andmetest paneme kokku aruanded, ettekanded. Ja miks oluline on, on see, et kõikidel meie otsustajatel, meie kohalikel omavalitsustel, meie valitsusel, et neil oleks õige, olemas õige ja adekvaatne keskkonna info. Nii, meie töötajad, meid on kokku nagu menne ütlesin umbes 200. See tähendab, et meil on just see kõige paras punt, et see tähendab meil, et iga töötaja on meie jooks väga oluline. Mis me selle nimel teeme? Me näeme igapäeva kõvasti vaeva selle nimel, et kõikidel meie töötajatel oleks hästi toremel töötada ja nad oleksid kõik oma töökohtadel õnnelikud. Kuidas me seda teeme? Nagu näha, meil on hästi palju erinevaid suksid märgisid antud, et nii näiteks me toetame oma töötajate sportimist, Korraldab ise erinevaid spordiüritusi meie enda töötajatele. Meil on majas näiteks jõusaal, saun ja lisaks me näiteks toetame meie töötajate käimist näiteks tööpsühholoogi juures. Et iga meie töötaja saab nii palju kui võim aja, saab käia. Oleme peresõbralik tööandja, mis see tähendab on see, et meie töötajatel on väga hea tõimalus, et teha näiteks ka kaugtööd, mis võimaldab siis kodu ja tööelu paremini ühildada. Tallinna kontoris on meil näiteks ka kohe täitsa olemas eraldi lastetuba, et kui näiteks sa tuled koos lapsega tööle, Aga tahad korraks koosolekul natukene rahulikumalt enda aega saada, et siis sa saad samal ajal jätta lapse ja tööduppa sinna alla, mängutuppa. Nii. Ja mis siis muud? Tulge meile tööle. Me aasta läbi otsimegi alati igasuguseid ägedaid praktikante. Nii et kui te tahate, et teil oleks äge töökoht, kus te saate äkki kesed tööpäeva hoopis metsas olla, siis tulge meile. Googeldage keskkonna agentuur, tulge meie kodulehele, vaadake meie karjääriinfo lehte ja siis sealt leiate ka täieliku paketti, et mis boonusid me oma töötajatele pakume. Ja kes tahab kohe midagi juurde uurida ja küsida, siis me oleme kohe siin kõrval, on meie keskkonna agentuuri boks, et siis tulge meile külla. Aitäh! Welcome back. Uh, we will now have a short break, but don't leave yet because we have about more, 10 more companies who are here doing their presentations. So I'll see you in two minutes.
So now uh, we would like to really thank all of those people who are watching us online. Uh, for those people who do not look at the presentations online right now, you can always visit the World Cup space later on as well. Uh, but now we will continue with the presentations and next up is SCB, so please. The presentation will be in Estonian. Tere, Erik, mina. Miks SCB äh, tasustatud suvepraktika? Äh, mille poolest SCB eristub on võibolla see, et äh, suure osa äh, suvepraktikast moodustab äh, SCB innovatsiooniprogramm, mille nimi on Juhtlab. Idee seisnub selles, et äh, äh, moodustatakse tiimid äh, üle kolme Balti riigi, äh, pank annab ette mingisuguse ärilise kaasuse või probleemi või näiteks või küsimuse, et kuidas teha tuleviku panka ja see eral tudengid hakkavad äh, tiimides äh, siis lahendusi leidma äh, kasutades näiteks äh, design mõtlemise raamistiku. Äh, Ja asi lõpeb sellega, et ideed pitsitakse siis panga tippjuhtidest koosnevale jurile. Üks väga hea näide, mille tudengid ise välja mõtlesid, on näiteks maisik pangakaart, mis ka võib-olla osadel tudengitel täna siin taskus on. Ja me ei oota spetsialiste, me ootame ettevõtlikust, sellist teeme ära suhtumist, kõik muu on õpitav. Näiteks eelmisel aastal Osalas meil juht läbi programmis üle 30 praktikandi. Nii ja meil lisaks juht läbi on meil ka toimumas paraleelselt development läb. Erinevus seisneb selles, et development läb on suunatud noortele arendajatele. Periood on pikem, kestab kuskil kuus kuud. Eelise pluss on see, et töökoormus on painlik, et kuskil 60% tööaega ja mõlemad on siis tasustatud ja tulge kindlasti meie boksist läbi ja külastage meie kodulehte. Suur tänu. Hello, uh, for those who have joined us right now at the Delta Career Day, uh, don't worry, you are not late as we will be here until 4 p.m. So definitely you have still time to go around either in this room or at the end of the hallway to the left. There's also a bigger mess hall as well where you can find all of the companies. If you do not get to speak to some of the companies, don't worry. We have a workshop page with their expo, uh, with the expo there. And on the expo page, you can also go through all of the company profiles, find information about the companies, visit their web pages, and visit their job offers as well. But now, uh, without further ado, uh, it's an honor to, pre uh, to present the next presenter. So, Stack, please. Hello, uh, I'm Kalev and uh, uh, from Stuck. Uh, today I tell a story how an academic uh, 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 research unit became actually the true business. And uh, uh, this is the story. Um, Stuck is a data science company um, founded uh, by university and IT companies already 13 years ago. Uh, the founders were, were actually two uh, university professors, uh, Jaak Vilo and uh, Marlon Tomas, and uh, they invited uh, at the table also the best uh, Estonian IT companies uh, to conduct uh, applied research in the field of uh, data science. Early days, um, Stuck was uh, rather a research lab than, uh, than a business, and, uh, uh, and we were doing applied research projects. Um, uh, we hired the university, a researcher from the university, and put them together in the same room as the business people. And, uh, and it was actually painful, because, uh, because uh, these are two different worlds. Researchers want to focus on some uh, research topic, uh, to study, write articles, but businesses are more agile, especially start, uh, startup companies. Uh, they want to... Uh, 
uh, uh, change topics on a daily basis, and it was uh, very painful. And the office was silent. Uh, researchers were doing their, their stuff, and sometimes it was interrupted by, um, by not fighting, but, uh, but uh, very hot discussions uh, between business people and researchers. Um, despite of that, we made a true business impact for, uh, and uh, developed uh, uh, core technologies, uh, contributed to the core technologies uh, of uh, such uh, companies such as Skype, uh, Shearer Donaround, Plumber, Reachu, etc. Gradually, both sides uh, learned. Researchers um, learned to uh, uh, offer their services uh, better for the businesses, and uh, business people let the researchers alone and free to invent new stuff. The silence in the office was replaced by mumbling already. It was not completely silent. And, um, and the story continues like that, that uh, pretty soon some of the researchers who had more entrepreneurial uh, attitude, uh, they just became uh, bored and um, started to offer uh, business services uh, independently. They wanted to go all in, and, uh, and uh, we started with doing uh, public procurement projects firstly, then uh, started some uh, in-house uh, uh, product development projects, and, uh, and uh, also started to build a dedicated business team. Uh, and also the sign was that the first spin-off company from Stuck uh, called uh, Texta uh, was established. And uh, they just took a core technology from Stuck called Texta, which is a natural language processing uh, uh, toolkit, and uh, build a separate company. And uh, Stuck became gradually more and more business uh, uh, than a research lab. And, and the cultural change was also a challenge for us. Some more research oriented people, oriented people uh, left the company and uh, new, more business-oriented people were hired to the company. And business started to grow very rapidly. And uh, uh, now we are serving tens of uh, startup companies, building their uh, uh, artificial intelligence uh, components to their software. We are also uh, an important party for the e-government to help them to uptake the AI uh, to improve the public services and also uh, we are building our own uh, products for the for the certain uh, like for the certain business domains such as e-commerce for instance re like uh, recommendation systems and demand prediction and uh, also very important uh, milestone for us was that the company now belongs to the employees uh, that we were doing the management payout uh, in the end of uh, last year. And I have to say that the office is not uh, silent anymore, but pretty noisy and, uh, and uh, sometimes even too noisy. Why we are different? Why you would uh, uh, come to Stuck? Uh, we have acknowledged uh, scientific background or academic background and uh, this is very important because uh, we have access to the best expertise. We are Tartu University and, uh, and Taltec. And uh, we try to still find the synergetic balance between uh, these areas. And uh, uh, now for instance, uh, most, almost all our skills are coming from the research projects, such as NLP or, or uh, uh, for, for instance, this NLP. Uh, started to grow in the, uh, in the project which were analyzing the digital health records. And without that, we could not uh, now serve uh, completely other areas like, e uh, like, uh, uh, public, uh, like uh, media houses and uh, doing the uh, media monitoring. Other very important uh, difference is that uh, we have a honest orientation to the 
offering the quality service uh, that um, we are happy to help our customers to change the world, uh, but we are satisfied with the fact that they, we are doing, doing it through them. And of course, uh, there is very big diversity of uh, machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence related projects. I think the biggest in Estonia. And now you have maybe looking for the job, you are maybe, maybe you have option to, uh, to choose between focusing on the product for years or come to stuck and get the full uh, 330 degrees overview of different AI related projects. And both juniors and seniors are, are uh, uh, very welcome to our companies, data scientists, data engineers, software developers, uh, project managers. Thank you very much. And now we will move on with the presentations. So it's an honor to present uh, the next presenter. So CGI, the stage is yours. Hello. My name is Andres Birnbaum and I'm uh, the country manager for company CGI. Uh, first of all, uh, CGI is a big international group uh, in, in many, many countries and uh, it started in uh, Canada. It's a Canadian company. Uh, we started in uh, 1976, uh, exactly the same year uh, I, um, uh, Apple was established as well. Uh, Apple was established in April, we were established in June, so we are a little bit uh, younger company than Apple. Uh, but what is interesting to compare ourselves with Apple is that we also started uh, in a small garage in the city of Montreal and uh, with two guys, and now we are almost uh, 80,000 people all around the world. Uh, what is um, also interesting about CTI is that uh, uh, we have primarily um, established ourselves in North America and Europe, and there is a good reason behind that, because uh, as we are working together with um, United States Army, United States uh, federal government, basically doesn't allow us to work in Middle East or in China or in Russia. So, yeah, we are not working in Russia or, or, or in Belarus. Uh, in Estonia, we are also established quite, uh, quite a long time. Uh, we started in the beginning of 90s where Estonia became independent uh, from the Soviet Union. So we had uh, uh, quite a good opportunity to be at the start of different things what uh, started to uh, happen in Estonia. And uh, today we have uh, more than 200 uh, people here in Estonia, so we can say that we are quite, quite big in the local market in Estonia as well. And uh, uh, our revenue comes uh, primarily from uh, the software development, so we are a software development house. And uh, about 40% is coming from the Estonian markets. We are serving uh, Estonian government, uh, Estonian different companies but we are really strong in exporting so 60 percent of our revenue is coming through the exports uh, we are exporting to various countries uh, surrounding us so the main partner for us is finland uh, also sweden norway uh, uk and germany we are expo exporting uh, we have offices in Tallinn and tartu uh, there is approximately the same size of the population in these, uh, these two offices um, when we are speaking about the clients and the expertise, uh, we are really proud of uh, what we do for uh, different organizations because they have more broader um, um, mission, so, uh, so to say. So we are not producing software for, uh, for, uh, for gaming industry or, or casino industry or, or something which is uh, related with uh, entertainment. So we are doing serious stuff. Uh, today, our biggest customer is the European Space Agency. Um, we are doing uh, multiple projects in uh, multiple fields, uh, starting from mission control, but we are also doing a lot in the Earth uh, observation, uh, getting the data from the satellites and uh, putting this uh, data for the use of the society. Uh, also, strong sectors for us are the energy utilities we have around 20% uh, of our people working for different projects in that field, but of course, uh, various things around uh, Estonian public sector. 
so uh, here are some examples what we have done. So probably I hope that you uh, uh, are not a regular user of uh, the emergency hotline. But uh, if, if you need to use that, uh, you can remember that uh, this uh, is also one system uh, where our developers have been heavily been involved. Uh, next is uh, uh, a project called Satikas, and uh, this is actually using uh, the data from the space uh, for the sake of the farmers so they can uh, uh, observe that if the land has been uh, mowed or not. So this is an uh, automatic way of uh, uh, seeing uh, from, from the agency if the farmers are uh, behaving in a good good manner. Uh, then ice mapping. So here we as well used the remote sensing data uh, to see uh, how the uh, ice formulates in the Baltic Sea and in the, in the lakes in Estonia. And finally, uh, we have done also the, the application for the state forest management uh, just to uh, see where the hiking trails and you can navigate there as well. So these were a um, few of the examples. Uh, and uh, if you question that uh, how I can be part of that, we have a, a top-notch uh, internship program. I think it's uh, one of the best in, uh, in Estonia. Uh, it's already seventh season. And uh, as always, we are inviting all the students to participate there. Of course, the competition uh, to get into this internship uh, program is quite tough. So last season we had uh, 20 candidates per one seat. Uh, but we can say clearly that it's a good springboard for the future uh, because uh, more than half of those who have participated in this program uh, are either employed by us or, or some other companies. So uh, come to our box, uh, get more knowledge about the internship program we, we have. And uh, we all welcome to join CGI. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, if you're on site, don't uh, forget that we also have Tixu here. So uh, go say hi, go take pictures with Tixu, and obviously share those uh, pictures on social media with the hashtag Unitartu. Uh, next up, we have Mind Titan. So please, the stage is yours. Hello, I'm Marcus from My Titan, and I'll tell you a bit about what we are and what we do. So, uh, we are an AI agency focused on building AI driven organizations. So, essentially, what we do is we solve other people's problems using machine learning. Um, whatever kinds of problems they are, whether it's a public sector thing, it's a uh, private sector thing, uh, we solve all kinds of them. So when you Google us, this is where you find our office location. Uh, I must tell you, this is false advertising. We actually have really classic tech offices in Tallinn and Tartu. So apply anywhere you want. Uh, we're focused on uh, mostly bespoke AI solutions. Uh, we deal with uh, fully turnkey AI solutions, dealing with everything from uh, idea generation, strategy development, up to uh, actual uh, developing of the models from uh, yeah, labeling the data, whatever you need. Uh, we work with our clients through uh, the whole process, idea validation, uh, trying to pilot stuff as fast as we possibly can uh, to like validate the idea and how feasible it is. Uh, and we deal in a lot of different areas. So like you can see, there's natural language processing, uh, speech recognition, computer vision, whatever you, you name it. Uh, some people say it's too much, uh, and I must say that it's not exactly easy, but it's also not boring, so I would say that it pays off quite well. Our stats are looking quite good. Uh, well, I say that when, uh, usually statistics say that in larger companies, about 90% of the projects that are uh, started, they also tend to fail. Then we have kind of reversed those statistics. 85% of our, more than 85% of our projects are actually uh, in use to this day. Uh, regarding AI projects, that's quite an achievement, uh, and that's also a great reason to join us. The stuff you do will actually be used. Uh, 
there's uh, quite a bit of different projects that we have uh, done, quite a lot of different countries that we've uh, worked with. We've also helped develop the uh, AI strategy for the government of Estonia. Uh, and we, here's a, although we are an Estonian company, we work with, Estonia is really small, there aren't a lot of uh, AI driven organizations here yet, but it's getting better. And we're working with companies all over the world. So it's, you can see there's the public sector and also private sector companies from all around the place, from uh, Estonia to Africa to Americas and even Australia. We have a lot of different open positions. Uh, so although we are heavily focused on machine learning and AI, then we also can't get around the software that has to be developed around it. So what we're looking for is software engineers, both front end, back end, full stack. Uh, we're looking for data scientists, of course, and machine learning engineers, which are arguably the most interesting position that we have. It's a position between um, an engineer and a data scientist. You have to deal with compiling your own tools. You have to de deal with DevOps deployment. It's really fun. And we also take interns. Um, how many positions we have open is currently unknown, as it kind of depends on the projects that we have available. But please do apply. And we'll find out if we have a fit. Uh, there are also some nice team pictures. Uh, these are... Well, we, we, these days we have a team that's rather remote, uh, meaning that although we have those two offices, then a lot of people work from all around the place. Also, we have people from uh, a lot of different countries, but we do try to bring them together every now and then for uh, a, few event, a few, few nice events, something fun to do, maybe some drinks, maybe some paintball. Uh, so yeah, do join us, it'll be fun. Thank you. Thank you. And now we will uh, be uh, joined by both human and robots. So here you go, Starship, the stage is yours. Hello. Uh, my name is Ointi. And with me on the stage today is a robot that can maybe introduce himself. Nope, doesn't work. Okay. Uh, he can speak. So, a few years ago, I had a bit of a revelation. I got home after a day at work. I was tired and I was hungry. So I ordered a pizza, opened up my phone, opened up a delivery application on the phone, ordered the pizza. It was delivered one hour later and it was an excellent pizza. But then, I checked my phone once again and I noticed something. I noticed that my pizza had been delivered by a car in rush hour. So maybe maybe the car that delivered my pizza was part of that rush hour on the on the on the photo there. My 1.4 kilogram of pizza was delivered by a car that weighs 1,400 kilograms. Like, this is a really odd thing, really. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. So, enter Starship. We are a company that uh, builds robots that excel at last mile deliveries. Our robots have the right size for most of the deliveries. This robot can fit a pizza, it can fit five pizzas, it can fit a few bags of groceries. Uh, it, is, it can literally handle 90% of all the deliveries out there. Um, because it drives on the sidewalks, it actually takes cars off the roads and it reduces the CO2 emissions. So as a result, it improves the environment pretty much for everybody. There, are, there is less traffic on the roads, there are less emissions than there. As a result, everybody wins. And we also revitalize local communities. If you have walked around in a, a bigger city lately, you may have noticed that many of the restaurants have actually moved to shopping centers. And as a result, the rest of the city starts to seem kind of empty. -ish. If you have a restaurant uh, somewhere in residential area, 
then it is actually kind of hard for you to run the business because the delivery drivers don't want to take uh, short deliveries, but our robots can do that. Uh, so this is what we do. Our robots are right size. They reduce traffic, they reduce emissions, and they help to actually revitalize the local communities. Uh, we do most of these things in, uh, uh, in US, where we operate in 30 different university campuses. All of these yellow dots on the map are different campuses where we operate in. Uh, these campuses are like small cities. If you look at this map here, uh, you can see it is like maybe as big as start. Some of these campuses have about 10,000 students. Largest campuses have 100,000 students. So this is where we mostly operate in. We also have operations in Europe, in uh, United Kingdom, in Estonia. We also operate in industrial campuses in uh, Germany and Denmark. Uh, I could tell you a lot more about numbers and, and partners and all of that, but instead I want to focus uh, on something that makes me smile, makes me motivate, uh, motivates me to come to work every day. People at campuses, people around the world, they love our robots. You can see that some of them dress up as robots. Robots get invited to all sorts of events. There are even pumpkins carved to look like robots. Um, in UK, uh, many of the grocery stores we deliver from, they have these walls filled with cards, with letters sent by kids, thank you notes, all of that. If you take a robot to a kindergarten, then kids pretty much love it. They surround the robot, they, they want to play with the robot. Um, we, our office is in Tallinn, Estonia, this is our biggest office. Uh, we build, we design electronics, we assemble robots, we build software both inside and outside of the robot. Uh, and we have different uh, op uh, positions available, both interns, uh, both full-time jobs, everything. Uh, our robots, we have about a fleet of about uh, 1,700 of these in the world, but we want to grow a lot more. And to do that, we need talented people. So please come and visit us in the next uh, hall over. And let's talk. Thank you. Thank you, Starship. Uh, now we will move on with the next presenter. And it's an honor to introduce Luminar. Please. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Ruta. I'm from Luminar. And today I'm here to introduce you the uh, opportunities that we have for students, and more uh, specifically, the summer internship program that we have. So uh, I don't, I won't focus too much on who we are. Uh, it's uh, quite obvious we are a bank, but you know we offer not only opportunities in the finance or economics, but we also have very exciting opportunities in technology, in data analysis, data engineering, and other areas. Uh, we are a Pan Baltic bank, so you, if joining, you will work in the Pan Baltic teams, meaning that you will face, uh, you know, this international environment and our main language is English so if you are not um, you don't have a local language knowledge it's completely okay as well so what is uh, Luminor Illuminate and why you should join so it's our summer internship program uh, it's a pan program and we aim to um, invite students and recent graduates to join Luminor and test out their potential um, in, in Luminor. So by joining you will gain really valuable experience, real life, um, real work experience because you will be um, included into day-to-day uh, -day task or uh, exciting projects. Then you will be able to, you know, build a um, um, network, professional network. You will work with uh, professionals who will help you to develop and growth. And, uh, you know, this is also a very important part for you. Just develop new skills and, uh, and um, improve the ones that you already have. So if we look back to la last year's uh, statistics, last year we had 53 interns and out of them 20 stayed after the internship as full-time employees. Um, here you can see some uh, quotes of our, our um, ex-interns, current employees, and why they joined Luminor for the internship. So main reasons are really the people that you work with and the experience that you get from it. 
And a bit more about the program. So as I mentioned, it's tailored for the students. It has a, uh, a big variety of opportunities. It's paid internship and it's during uh, summer. It starts end of June and ends during um, August. And here you can see all the uh, tracks that we have. So it's retail, corporate banking, technology, data analysis, and data engineering and finance. And within those tracks, you will find different many, many positions that you can join Luminor. So applications are open now, so don't hesitate. Uh, go explore what we have to offer. This is a great opportunity for you to get some real work experience and maybe continue your work at, at Luminor. And the applications will be open till the end of the March, so the time is quite limited. And then um, we will be looking forward to welcome you um, at the end of the June. So where to apply and where you can find us. So um, you can find all the job ads about the summer internship program in our career site, um, luminorcareers.ee, or you can also go and visit our um, LinkedIn account where you will also find all the job ads there. And you can, uh, you can um, also, if you have any additional questions, approach me and ask any question that you have yeah, so we are looking for interns to join us this summer. We are looking for around 73 interns here to, this year to join us. So it's quite a big number. And as you saw, it varies from finance to technology. Uh, we are also looking for people in marketing, in communications. Uh, so it's, you know, a big variety of the roles that you can choose from. So I really encourage you to take this opportunity and join us for, for the summer. And if you have any questions, we are uh, next, next doors uh, having um, uh, fun and talking with all the students. So if you have any question, uh, feel free to come and, and we, we are happy to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so as you walk around, be sure to definitely go through all of the boxes, speak to the people, learn more about the positions because that's the main reason you're here, right? To talk and to find job and internship offers. Uh, but now we'll continue with the presentations and we will uh, go over to the uh, Zoom presentation by Twilio. So please, Twilio. Hello. Uh, it's nice to be here and to talk about that. My name is Hannes Roitzi and I'm an engineering manager in Twilio. Uh, I've been with Twilio for five years. Uh, and I joined initially as a software engineer, <clears throat> but over the past years, I grew into the managerial uh, position. And now I'm leading a software engineering team. Uh, we're building software using agile scrum methodologies. And here, I'm here today to give you a brief overview of what Twilio is and who we're looking for. So uh, what is Twilio? Uh, Twilio is a customer engagement platform that brings together people from all across the businesses to transform the customer experience. So this stems from our belief that communication should be in the toolkit of every developer. Uh, with the Twilio customer engagement platform, developers can use any Twilio API, uh, any service or solution in a way that fits their needs. So today, the customer engagement platform is used by over 9 million developers worldwide, uh, building applications powering more than 200,000 companies and reaching customers in more than 100 countries. So this means that Twilio is truly a global company and, and well, so are our challenges. Uh, as I mentioned, Twilio APIs, uh, what is an API? An API is a tool in a developer's toolkit. Uh, it's an application programmable interface allowing applications to communicate with each other. Uh, for example, an application sending out SMS messages uh, by using Twilio Messaging API. Uh, now I'm shifting on to talk about our early, car early career opportunities we have in Twilio and also how to apply to them. Uh, firstly, the early, early in career team exists to create opportunities for all aspiring talent uh, to build at Twilio. So for example, there are two engineers in my team who have gone through early in career program and one of them being my technical lead. So the quality is really high. But who are we hiring? Who are we looking for? 
Uh, right now, we are hiring software engineering new graduates uh, with the background in computer sciences and other engineering related, related degrees, mostly backend. Uh, timing is based on graduation date, and to be mentioned here, these are full-time positions. Uh, we're also hiring software engineering interns uh, with backgrounds in computer sciences, other engineering-related degrees, and again, mostly backend, but not only. It's, it's actually up for the team to decide on what the interns will be working on. Uh, for interns, the timing is, is from May or June uh, to August, so summertime. And... Lastly, we are also looking for technical support engineering new graduates with any bachelor or any master's degree. Uh, start time, again, would be somewhere around May to June. How does the hiring process look like? Uh, all early in career candidates go through the same interview process. Uh, the early in career team would go to uh, a, a CV review and then invite you to complete the home assignment or a hacker rank test uh, which is going to be related to the role you are applying for. And this should happen somewhere around two weeks uh, of applying. Uh, once that step is done, uh, the final step would be a round of in-person or let's say Zoom interviews with members of the team. And this most probably will happen uh, within two weeks of finishing your home assignment. Uh, for interns, we have two rounds of interviews one focusing on the technical skills needed uh, and one focusing on Twilio magic. Uh, but for the new graduates, uh, full-time roles, uh, we are gonna have four rounds of interviews uh, out of which three will be focusing on technical skills and one round will be focusing on Twilio magic. And hopefully this will all result in an offer. Uh, how to find us? Uh, you can find more information about the offerings from also our homepage, LinkedIn, Greenhouse. Uh, the links here on the slide should take you to where you can uh, look through and apply for the early in career roles. Uh, please visit these to complete the application for any role that uh, looks like a fit for you. Uh, feel free to take a photo of this slide. Uh, once you apply, uh, you'll start the process uh, I just mentioned on the previous slide. And on the right, right hand side, you can see some very general timelines for when we recruit and, and hire for these roles. They aren't hard and fast timelines, but should give you an estimate uh, of how to plan uh, on your end. And, and if you're actually, if you're really interested in applying for uh, any of these roles with us. Uh, obviously, the sooner you can apply, the better to ensure consideration uh, for the roles. And the format will be virtual. Uh, and with that, uh, there's nothing else. Thank you and apply. Thank you. Uh, if you're joining online or if you're on site and want to read more about the companies that are participating today, definitely go visit our workshop also after the event. Go watch the expo profiles of all of the companies and read more about them. But uh, Without further ado, I'll introduce our next uh, presenter. So, Estin Erga, the stage is yours. Hi, thank you. Uh, I am Helarin Bilden. I am a recruitment and young talent specialist here at Estin Erga. And uh, uh, young talent, you may wonder what it is. Uh, that means that I work uh, every day actually with interns, uh, with our scholarships. Uh, so, I am uh, really, this uh, uh, event is really close to my heart. But first, I would like to talk more about uh, Estin Energia. Here's maybe us in numbers. Uh, we are a company with quite some experience. Uh, we have over 80 years uh, of uh, experience and we have four fields of activities. Uh, so first, uh, there's uh, renewable energy. Uh, then we are really client-centric. Uh, our second field of activity is uh, customer services. We also offer grid services uh, and also large energy that is uh, to do with energy production and more our Eastern, uh, Euro Eastern Estonian side. Uh, and we operate on five home markets. Our home markets are from Finland to Poland. Uh, and actually, internationally, we operate on the liquid fuels market. Uh, and we are a quite big company, one of the largest employers. Uh, we have over uh, 4,600 energy heroes, actually. And uh, we are uh, interested in uh, new energy. So maybe more about uh, our internship opportunities. I know that uh, many of you are interested in this. Uh, we, this year, we are looking for 143 interns to join us. Uh, but uh, generally, um, uh, in a year, uh, like um, how to say, like av on average, uh, we are looking uh, 
uh, for 200 interns, but this year's uh, different uh, because of uh, certain reasons uh, to do with uh, uh, the health situation. Uh, and applications, if you're wondering, are open until the end of March. Uh, and we do have uh, different uh, opportunities in different fields. For example, on this slide, I put uh, that we are looking uh, for analytics interns. Of course, information technology is a big part of ASD Ener ASD Energy. actually. You might wonder that uh, we are a, an energy company, but we are quite big. Uh, and we do have a big uh, IT department. Uh, we actually have over 260 IT professionals working in us on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, then, of course, we have opportunities uh, for sales interns uh, to do with uh, off or operations, for example, we are looking for an office specialist, and of course, electroenergetics. And if you're wondering, we have opportunities, uh, most of the opportunities uh, are to do with uh, the North uh, Estonian, the Tallinn, and uh, also the Eastern Estonian side. Uh, but I would like to let you know that actually many of our internship opportunities are available to uh, remote working. So if you're interested in our internship opportunities, but maybe you're uh, located in uh, different parts of Estonia, then definitely contact us and we can see, uh, we can look at our opportunities and uh, maybe more about statistics if you're wondering uh, if you would like to work in uh, Eesti Energia Affair internship then uh, of course there's uh, possibilities for that uh, for good interns we offer uh, opportunities for future work uh, and actually seven percent of uh, our workers uh, come to work from us uh, through internships uh, so that's uh, when we do have a wide range of activities and I believe we do have opportunities for almost everyone so I encourage you to look at our, um, our box here at the expo area that's right next to the lounge area and uh, I encourage you to come speak with us and ask questions about the opportunities you're most interested in. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just as a reminder, this isn't the only hall you can visit. There's actually another hall right next to this one when you go through the hallway and to the left. So definitely go check that out that hallway as well. Uh, but now uh, it, it's an honor to introduce our next speaker, Posit Positium. All right. Hello. I'm here to tell you about uh, what is Positium and what we do. In short, we are a bunch of people who are trying to change the world for a better place by using location data. But how do we do it? As you probably know, every time you use your phone to make a call, send a text message, or use mobile data, a digital footprint is left behind in your mobile network operator's database. This happens because they need the data to do the billing for the services that you use. And this is called mobile positioning data, pass passive mobile positioning data, and Positium uses it in three main fields, which are, which, which doesn't show me, unfortunately, yeah, which are uh, tourism, mobility, and population statistics. For example, did you know that uh, Positium analyzed the visitor numbers of the Metallica concert? We also provided input for the new bus line network in Tartu. We visualized Estonians' mobility during the COVID pandemic. We are producing the longest ever time series of official tourism statistics in cooperation with the Estonian Bank. And we are doing similar projects all over the world. But what are the benefits of passive mobile positioning data? First of all, uh, mobile phones have become the best sensors for measuring human behavior and mobility as they are carried almost everywhere. And secondly, compared to traditional survey methods, it enables us to reach results much faster, cheaper, and also covers a significantly larger sample. However, Positium values its people more than anything else. Here's a little overview of what our life looked like last year. And it should have sound. Yeah, thanks.
you very much. So if you want to learn more, you can participate in our quiz or visit us at the booth right here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for everyone who just arrived, don't worry, the event is not over just yet. We will continue up until 4 p.m., so be sure to visit both this hall and the other hall at the end of the hallway. Uh, but now, uh, our next presenter is Milram, so please, the stage is yours. Thank you. Welcome to learn about more about Milram Robotics. We are Estonian robotics company. We actually do the robotics ourselves, meaning we design and produce the mechanical, electronical and the software parts of uh, unmanned ground vehicles. Meaning one of our best known products is the Themis UGV. We design and do the platform. This platform can be used for uh, several purposes like rescue or military and uh, beyond the small machine we have also the big brother called the Typex and uh, as most of our customers are from the military as there is much more money to go and test because the, we have set a goal to move in a challenging environment meaning off-road and unstructured uh, landscapes where it's uh, way harder to navigate and make good uh, path planning than in uh, urban landscape. Our uh, civilian project is Multiscope and it has agricultural and forestry applications. But uh, over the past year, we delivered uh, our first uh, intelligent function kit uh, to the Netherlands Army meaning our machine can drive on its own. Uh, simple missions, and we are uh, improving that uh, on a yearly basis. And be uh, besides uh, direct robotics uh, development, we do also uh, system integration with different uh, 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 countries, uh, different uh, hardware platforms, different software platforms, and also provide uh, consultation uh, how to use robotics in uh, military and uh, agricultural contexts. Uh, what I'd like to highlight is uh, two collaboration projects with uh, uh, Tartu University. One of those is uh, uh, Nuitikas Metha Robot, which is happening uh, in conjunction with uh, Teravera Observatory, uh, where all the students uh, can actually join in and try their uh, uh, work on applied uh, science. Uh, here you can see uh, the robot is following uh, the man without any wires attached or any direct control. This was actually developed by uh, Tartu University students and now it uh, has been shipped as a real product. Uh, as a company we are growing uh, hiring about 20 people this year. Uh, we have different uh, um, offices and uh, resellers around the world. Uh, also, I'd like to point out our summer school applications uh, uh, period is open till the end of the month. And uh, you're really welcome to submit your application because the content of the summer school will depend on your wishes. We will compile the team based on the input you provide. And last year, for example, uh, the students in the summer school uh, implemented, designed the requirement, gathered the requirements, designed the one-handed remote you can see on the video here. It will uh, freeze up one hand the, of, of the operator. Usually we have two-handed uh, remote, but now uh, this little thing goes, uh, needs more productization and uh, uh, maybe you will uh, do something similar in your uh, summer school and if you join the company then you can m uh, bring this product uh, to the, our customers. So thank you very much and uh, uh, visit our booth in the next hall and uh, have a great day.
Thank you, Milram. Uh, who hasn't yet uh, online gone to the expo page, I really urge you to look through the companies, read their bios, read about the job opportunities, and also uh, take contact with them if you're re really interested in any of those as well. Uh, but our next presenter uh, will be here shortly. So, uh, it's an honor to introduce the Estonian uh, Association of Virtual and Augmented Reality, please. Hello, uh, so my name is Mert Lume, I'm the chairman of Estonian Virtual and Augmented Reality Association. And uh, I want to tell you a little bit about uh, how I would think about choosing a career. I would choose something really cool and something that would uh, last for a long time and grow and be really exciting and also change the world in a major way. And we are uh, trying to make this, uh, bring this change about in Estonia using our association. We have about uh, 20 companies currently that are our members, including schools and uh, some startups, which hopefully will be uh, household names in a, in a few years. And our mission is it's really to keep, uh, keep at pace with the Estonian tech industry, which is uh, also being wildly successful. And uh, in 10 years, we want to be at least 10 times the size. And these, uh, we just uh, conducted an industry survey for 2021. Uh, currently, our sector has about 120 people. It used to be uh, just under 100 uh, last year, and next year, it'll probably be under 180 or so. Uh, and uh, in the same way, the revenues are growing and the companies uh, that are doing well, and there are a few quite shining examples, they're also growing. Uh, so really, this talk is more meant to be uh, an invite for you to go to the homepage of evr.ee uh, and to follow us on social media and to check out uh, all the opportunities that are in this field. And for the remaining time, I'd like to give you a quick uh, tour of why uh, I and we as a big group really think that this industry is going to be uh, the one to look out for and, and work for actually in the coming decades. Um, oh yeah, here's the jobs page. Um, so just uh, going through some use cases uh, quickly, we can imagine that uh, how you buy houses, how you design houses, uh, how you go to places you've never been to get an idea what it's like will change wildly, is changing already. Um, when you're designing something from uh, great distances, you can now do this together in one space. So this brings already huge changes in the automotive and other industries. Similarly for customers that buy things, they are in the showrooms, uh, basically in the living room, and they can look at the most minute details of, uh, of products that otherwise, you know, was kind of impossible before, or you just rely on photos. Uh, education changes uh, completely. You have... Um, interactive spaces where you basically, you kind of play a game, but you really just uh, are in a purpose designed uh, uh, scenarios, which are teaching you all kinds of things that would take a lot longer otherwise. In real world, uh, same with all kinds of training. Here is an example of medical uh, fitness. Uh, you can basically work out a lot harder if you don't know that uh, if your body is kind of fooled by a really exciting scenario and uh, and virtual reality brings uh, great possibilities for that same way to change the, your spa your uh, personal state uh, all kinds of meditation mindfulness uh, industries taking off uh, of course experiences here is somebody in the international space station but you can really be anywhere anytime experience anything so really you can uh, argue that this virtual and also augmented reality, it kind of democratizes experiences worldwide, just like internet did for the information. And of course there's lots of entertainment, um, but maybe more uh, relevantly, uh, we have uh, really big change happening in remote work and people who have been staring at uh, Zoom screens for several years now, I find it, uh, a lot more rewarding to be in a room where they can actually look at people and uh, look at each other, understand in the group who is about to speak, uh, you know, use gestures to communicate. It's like a much richer way of way of being. And uh, and also events are getting uh, getting quite popular online, but in a way that you're actually there. Uh, and lastly, just 
plain old socializing, like hanging out with your relatives, good friends from across the world is now easier than ever using these spatial computing technologies. So summary, XR, as we call virtual and augmented reality put together, changes just about everything we do. Uh, these technologies are growing fast, uh, new platforms all the time emerging, and in Estonia already we have some really cool companies that are making headways in this space, and we hope that you want to be part of this as well. So please uh, follow us on social media. You can see the handles there, Estonia and XR, and our organization is EVR. Thank you. Thank you. And now we will have the last presenter of our uh, Delta Career Day, but that doesn't mean that the event is over yet. You still have until 4 p.m. to come on site, look and talk to the companies here, and have fun and take pictures, obviously, and share them on social media. Uh, but now, uh, our next presenter is Norat Koli. Their, present, uh, their uh, presentation will be in Estonian, uh, since they're an Estonian program, but nevertheless, uh, Stay here because I have also a few ending words for you. Tere, me oleme siis Petrikuga programmist Noored Kooli. Ja. Mina olen Lotte. Mina olen Petrik. Me alustame natuke ebatraditsiooniliselt, ehk siis me näitame teile kohe ära, kui see meie kühendus saada. See on oluline sellepärast, et ma arvan, et pärast seda esitlust te teate, kuidas meie kühendus saada. Või tähendab, et tahate meie kühendus saada. Ütleme ära, et me oleme siin täna sellepärast, et 20. märtsil juba on kandideerimist tähta, eks selle kevade viimane. Nii et ma arvan, et see on just see viimane aeg saada see informatsioon ja kandideerida. Me siis räägime, et te saaksid aru, millest see 20. märts hakkab olema, et mis asi on noored kooli ja miks see on. Ja, ehk siis noored kooli on kahe aasta pikkune arenguprogramm, mille käigus me saadame siis eri valdkondade eesvedajad, juhid kooli kaheks aastaks õpetajaks. Ja kuidas me... Ja mis meie eesmärk siis tegelikult lõplik on, on see, et Eestis iga laps saaks heal tasemel hariduse. Ja ta küsit, et oota ka nagu Eestil ju läheb hariduse väga hästi, et pidevad kuulema, et kuidas oleme igasugust tabelites eesotsas on. Aga tegelikult noh, päris nii ilusse pilt ka ei ole. Ehk siis tegelikult üks viiendik 20% noortest ei omanda siis peale põhikooli lõpetamiskesk haridust ja kümnendik õpilastest ei omanda 15. eluaasteks paast teadmisi, et elus toime tulla. Ja samuti on ka sotsiaalmajanduslikult sõltuvalt päritolus ka ebavõrne ligipääs haridusele. Ja kõik need probleemid on siis asjad, millega meie noored koolis proovime tegeleda ja millele lahendust leida. Palju teil nüüd kindlasti tekis küsimus, et õpetaja, et kas mina saan olla õpetaja. Ja me tahame tõestada, et jah, just sina, just pärast kõik ülikooli lõpetamist, kõrgharitsu omandamist, saad olla õpetaja. Selleks me pakume kuue nädalast ettevalmisuskoolitust, enne kui sa siis astud päriselt klassi ette. Selleks me ka anname sinu käsutusse siis just kui sinu isiklikud mentorid ja sa saad igakülgselt tuge ülikoolilt. Ehk siis see kõik on praktiline, aga ka akadeemiline samal ajal ja samas ka väga personaalne, sest sul on tõesti see inimene, kelle pool alati pöörduda. Ja see järel hakkadki sa esmaspäevast neljapäevani just kui õpetama. Ja reedel ja laupäeval on siis selline, kuidas öelda, harimisprogramm. Eks siis sa oled sessioonõppe vormis, siis õpid, kuidas olla õpetaja samal ajal, siis kui sa juba õpetad. Jah, et noh, et tegelikult miks siis liitud programmiga ongi see, et tegelikult sa panustad oma selle ajajooksul saja õpilase tuleviku. Eks siis sa läbid programmi või koolitused ja siis sa asud kooli ja siis sa lood positiivse muutuse kõike nende noorte elus. Jah, et mitte ainult see klassi eesoleku aeg ei ole see, kus sa oled nende noorte jaoks olemas, vaid sa oled nende noorte jaoks eeskujuks ka kogu selle aja, kui sa oled seal kooli ruumis. Ja juba sellega, et sa vahetunis käid seal, juba sellega sa lood seda positiivselt muutust. 
Lisaks on enese areng, mida see programmis saad, on tohutu. Sa õppid enda kohta palju ja sa õppid ka kuidas olla juht ja kuidas siis teisi paremini juht. Eks sa õppid palju nii enda kui ka teiste kohta. Jah, ja selle programmiga liitud kõik sarnased, et täpselt samasugud inimesed nagu sina, et inimesed, kes tahavad positiivselt muutust uue ühiskonnas, kes on eestvedajad, juhid, et kõik nendega on teil ühine kogukond, millega läbi te saate siis oma vahel suhelda, sõpru luua ka peale programmi lõppu, mida kägedad koos ära teha. Aga et inimene vaatab asju ikka oma mätta otsast peamiselt, siis praktilisemast poolest ka. Praktilisemast poolest programmi lõpetades on sul taskus nii öelda 60 teiapeed magistrist, mida sa saad siis soovi korral lõpetada, aga kui sa soovid pärast programmi jätkata mingis muus valdkonnas, saad ka seda teha. Ja kogu programmi vältel on sul olemas stabiilne palk ja töökoht. Ehk siis sa päriselt töötad õpetajana, oled päriselt õpetaja ja päriselt saad ka sellest asu. Ja kui kõik see jutt tundus huvitav, siis tegelikult meil toimub infoõhtu 10. märtsil kell 18.15 Tartu linnaramatukogus. Samuti on ka meil üritused siis Tallinnas ja Veebilel toimus, et kui te ei saa Tartusse tulla. Ja kui on väga huvitav, siis saate ka täita huviavalduse noorekooli.ee või mitte et siis slash kandideeri. Et siis nädal linkile saate ühendust võtta. Ja tehke seda juba täna, aga meie väga täna me ootame teid Noored Kooli programmi juba sellel kevadel. Aitäh! Aitäh! Thank you. Uh, that marks the end of our presentations today at the Delta Career Day. But uh, this is not the end of the event, as people still have the possibility to come and meet the companies here on site until 4 p.m. I'd also like to thank all of you, both joining online and, on, and joining on site as well, because this, this event is meant for you and couldn't be completed without you. So thank you for participating and obviously I urge everyone who leaves this event today to look at all of the expo profiles of the companies, look at their internship positions and the job uh, offers and apply already in March, why not? A lot of the companies have their deadlines already in March, so be sure to check them out before the, you miss the deadlines. Thank you for joining and we hope to see you next year at Delta Career Day 2023.